Chat. Are you ready for another exciting episode of Rock Round? Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Hey everybody, we're gonna rut gray. <laughs> we're bringing we're some energy, y'all. We're, we're gonna do short intros today, very short today. Starting off with Oda Roshi, who has Kingdom Hearts PTSD. Oh yes, uh, hi, my name is Odo. I, I'm playing. Uh, I'm, I'm playing uh, Kingdom Hearts <laughs> right now, and you guys have to listen to my my TED talk. Uh, anyway, so it can, no, uh, I'm playing Vali. <laughs> What was that? It was, a, it was a fart soundboard. How is Erndil farting on you? <laughs> Get on with it. Thank you, Erndil. Hello, I'm Odo. I'm playing Vali, the self swashbuckler. Uh, anyway, moving on. There's some guy who's sitting there in his chair and just going like, remember these guys are a lot more serious and more professional. Now the fuckers got soundboards. What else we got a soundboard? Fuck likes. off. Get on Baldur with it. Baldrick be eating the beans. beans. <laughs> And next up, it's we have the ever-growing Hulky Crow. <laughs> the ever-growing. Growing? That's, that, that's a bold assessment. I hope I'm not getting any taller. But yes, I oh. am Hulky Crow. Today, I will wow. be playing Zarkwe, the Heartless of Rahua. <laughs> also, and the one who is constantly Beyblading into your heart, Arendil. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I'm Arendil. I'm playing as Baldric, the, uh, the human alchemist. Move on to you. And uh, I am I am Zorn the Bear. I am your host today. I'm playing Oren, the Strix Druid. And um, we also, unfortunately, are missing an individual because he is behind a DLC wall. Tannhauser is not with us today, uh, but you can unlock him. You can unlock him later on. If we do unlock him, he'll be unlocked for next episode. He is currently he's currently behind a DLC wall, so you can only get him if you if you help contribute to the stream. But the one who's going to decontribute to the stream and make sure we all die and perish is our lovely game master, Thurston Gilman. Oh gosh, I'm really uh, glad that we've been purchased by EA. Um, I mean, hi, it's <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> but know that we are part of the corporate establishment. <laughs> gosh, yuck, yuck. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, uh, we're bringing uh, energy uh, today, y'all. Uh, the next Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I would appreciate it greatly if we would like <laughs> not double up the insanity because the last time we were here as a team, I wanted to kill each of you. That makes me that's okay. That's going to so anyway. I love this show. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for today. We have uh, we have we have a lot a lot of stuff to get through, and we're gonna we're gonna keep at it. Um, who wants to recap last session? Uh, Oren <laughs> cried and had a bad time. Uh, we were in the cube. All right, we're in the cube. We're doing stuff. We started looking around. We found evidence that uh, Oren's friend, Gorgamunger, that no one can ever spell right, is hilarious seeing people try to spell his name. <laughs> it's impossible <laughs> to spell it. That uh, basically bad stuff happened. Oren got all sad and depressed. Bodrick yelled at our uh, bard. Bard got depressed. Thurston got mad that we didn't like his NPC. Then we forcefully brought him back by chain, and then we fell, fell in a hole, and then we fought some, uh, fought some remnants of Orange Dragon Friend, and now we're here. All right, cool. Um, I, there was one very <laughs> important thing that was missing missing from that, though. Um, as uh, we yeah. as we bring us back and begin today's session on the map, I want to point out this rainbow swirl here. Oh, you know? rainbow! Please. <laughs> Oh, Take me to the gay forest. <laughs> I mean, you know, there could be anything there. There's a rainbow swirl because as you were in the Perfecta Cube during last episode, uh, you managed to activate it and cause it to float up, giving you a broader vision of this region of the solitude and continuing the sort of exploration we have been doing in this in this area. Um, at the end of last session, the group had decided that they were going to make their way back to Zabble Zaps and perhaps make some purchases, uh, having parted ways with Dita Neeson and her crew who have decided to stay in the in the perfected cube to continue their research now that it has been cleared of threats. Um, as we begin, 
we begin with our group today traveling through the swamps of the solitude, starting to to make their way back to Zabble Zap's trade encampment. I would like everyone to give me a perception check, not for initiative, though. Let's start okay. off with some dice here. Okay, oh, throw a rolls. die. I get nat 20 with 29. Oh, I, I get a I 29, a but not nat 20. I get I a 20. I have a question, Thurston. Yeah. Why do I always got to give you the rolls? Why don't you pay for them? Um, well... <gasps> What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I had to decant my rage for a moment. <laughs> you just have a, a, a slightly okay. Yo, volume. He's so fucking happy. He's happy. like, he's making us roll dice. Things are going to happen. And then you did that, Zorin. Oh, Thurston, uh, what, what do you want for it? What do you want for it? What's your offer? <laughs> well, I'm I'm getting back into Magic the Gathering. I've now owned two commander decks. A third commander deck would be pretty nice. So, uh, you know. Oh, you, know. you want to put me in debt, don't you? That's right. You, that's you, right. you want Skelly being the starve? You know? I'm going to have to go to Skelly and be like, oh, I'm sorry. We can't pay you anymore. Uh, Thurston wants a Magic the Gathering deck. And now it's all over because I have no more money. Listen. We have to keep the, the show going because there's the needs the magic cards. Give me a fucking perception roll, please. I want, I want to please. Okay, roll please. that okay. die. Uh, you know what? Why am I even saying this? I can roll it for him. No, I, can I got it. I got it. I roll it. I said yes. 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 You roll. <laughs> no. no. Roll roll it. Roll one. Listen, this is I what know. you fucking get no. in the pre-show, you bastard. No, hey, 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 Zorin, Zorin, explain. Zorin, no, before you no. explode into a thousand pieces, what just happened was you were standing next to Joaquin Phoenix and he said, you get what you fucking deserve, and then he blew your head off. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Okay, you don't understand how upset I am. I literally said before our show going, you know what, guys? I haven't rolled a natural one the entire campaign. I think I'll just say it at the start. I'll be like, ah, I won't say anything. You know, I, I won't mention that, I, that I'm not going to predestine myself. And fuck! But, <laughs> yo, <laughs> might as well get one. out of the way now rather than have it mid combat and Orin fucking blows up. Zoran, how does it feel knowing that you have just created the most watched clip on your channel? <laughs> how do I Content. die? How do I die? Clip it. How, how do I uh, die? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm finding it. Give me, give me a moment. I'm, yeah, I'm looking. Before you I'm kill him, can I get the, the list? Of the net twenty. You'll never well, see it coming. <laughs> Uh, that, that, was, that was pretty good. See, there's some really good options in these complications that we have, y'all. Um, but that being said, I will as 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 you are um, as you are asking, I'll give you give you the answer. For those of you who rolled a twenty nine in the case of Baldric, a critical success because it was a natural twenty, even though it matches the technical dice roll of one Rahua. Um, yeah, Rahua and Baldric both. Uh, recognize that the train you're going through it's starting to get like much more like boggy and marshy you're sort of sort of hitting the the northern um region of this hex as it sort of abates towards or connects i should say towards the the adjoining hex and, and zabble zaps as you're you're traveling though you're, you're you're sort of like walking along this this section of swamp and marshland that that is submerged trying to find you know more stable ground paths and even a few of the the paths you found here as you've been traveling um which you know is, is is working out okay um however um as this is going on baldrick and, and and the two of you notice this and you kind of notice the terrain um you also notice there are disturbances in the water that you're sort of walking parallel to but it's baldrick who notices um something through the fog strewn distance a silhouette on what appears to be like a, a wooden raft is making its way down towards you uh -huh. um and, and, and so as that is going on, I'm still trying to find a good uh, 
I'm trying to find a good one that isn't like locked into some specific character here. I'm really, yeah. I'm really trying it. Um, I think I've, I've gotten some of these are also novels. I love y'all, but the, some of the, some of these we're, we're good. We're going we're going to do a QA at some point on, on, on good, good yeah. options. If you here submit a complication, don't do it to a specific person. It ruins it. Make it yeah. general. Cause then we have to sift through the whole damn thing. Cause it was like, I brought, I brought Hokey to be, to have the funny thing and rip his pants. I'm like, we can't do it. <laughs> if it's not going to use this one, I'm going to use this one. Who doesn't one. have pants? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> he was designed so he couldn't rip his pants. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I got one. We're going to use it. Thank you, uh, GC Rust. A sticky situation. The player's action has unintended consequence of discovering a potent sticky substance that is stubborn in its removal and is um, inherently disgusting. Oh, wow. Um... You are going to be. Oh, this is this is this is mean. This is mean. Uh, you are going to be as this like substance locks you in place momentarily, Oren, because you're 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 not thinking of what's going on. You're thinking of of the what just happened. You're you're yeah. not paying yeah. attention. Um, you find yourself stuck. Uh, in place. You also now um, gain a condition effect. You gain, is and this is... It's drained. It's drained. I know what yeah. this one is. I use it. <laughs> oh, you didn't mark... <laughs> no, I didn't okay. mark because I didn't know our process yet. Yeah, I did use that one in Rockets. We can use it again. That's fine. Oh, I am using it here. You're you're stuck and drained. <laughs> <laughs> It's right. Drain, Double drain, usage. If I remember right, will uh, will basically make my max HP go down. Uh, yes. And it's mainly the. Uh oh, it does. I, I can't remember what it does off the top of my head. What else it does? But drain as a condition pretty much goes. Oh, because uh, Oren's max HP is like seventy four. You can drag it onto my character sheet, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I will. Screen, I will. It'll do yeah. the same thing. Um, so it'll bring it down. Uh, I, I I need to stop thinking off the top of my head what it does. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's the bam. Look at that. There you go. It's it's there. You're gonna lose some hit points. You're gonna take a penalty on your fortitude saves. This thing is awful, disgusting. It's swamp gunk, but it's keeping you in place. As Baldric, you see this shadow, shadowy figure on a raft, like moving towards you. Both you and Rahua now hear the sloshing of water and the the ripples in the nearby water as this approaches towards you. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna flag down the rest of the party and, you know, just hold up a hand to get them to pause, and I'll say, Hold up. Someone's coming. Good someone or bad someone? You gotta find out. Like somebody? Do we... Sorry, Oren's got all this gum in his hair. Uh, Where did you even get gum up. from? There's, like, tree sap all in his hands. It's all, like, in his hair. He was trying to scratch. It's all like, <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Can you that's one of the worst feelings I could possibly imagine. Man, I'm glad I don't have hair. <laughs> Sally, can you help me? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm keeping a close eye on the guy in the raft as he gets closer. Who be it? <laughs> Come on, Thurston. I know, I know you're hinting at something, but I, I can't go based on buzzing noises. Well, you're hearing a lot of buzzing noises now. As, um, but as, uh, as the raft approaches, you realize that the silhouette is, is smaller than you'd expect. Mm. Um, and it appears that coming towards you on this raft is not someone of your stature, but, but perhaps similar in, in stature to pick turn uh -huh. and then as as the the fog breaks a figure approaches why hello there as hello? this halfling waves at you the emaciated figure in robes holding a small cage a metal cage in one hand in which dragon flies fly both in and out through the through the gaps between the bars this halfling stares at you with a wide almost rictus grin Blotus? Blotus? Hi, Blotus! 
Well, Hi. I, I hear you've heard of me. I'm Blotus the Dragonfly Merchant. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are you different from Blotus the Fly Merchant? Yes. What? He, he like, pauses at this point, like, almost at that exact statement. Um, the raft kind of butts into the into the shore coming to a bit of a stop and and it starts to tilt a little bit pushing it up against you this halfling sitting looking up at you smiling very different people oh oh i, I mean uh but reward points count to between us oh oh thank god is, is blotus like a family name or something are you related to each other He does nothing but smile at you. I I'm going like to ask that, that you, nest, uh, you don't need to ask him questions about himself, please. I would like to know his entire life story. Would you tell me this, Blotus? Do you want to give me a diplomacy check? Absolutely. Give him a will save? Ha! <laughs> it's okay, I can't smell him. You don't have to smell him. Hey, not 20. Oh my god! This'll teach you, Zorin. <laughs> I wish I could roll to one of these. <laughs> That'll teach you. I feel a kinship to you, uh, tree fellow. You see, there are blotuses in many places, and each of us blotuses, we make sure that people get what they need when they need it. I see. That's good enough for me. So, we're like family, we are family, and we aren't family, if that makes a sense. I suppose so. That that makes about as much sense to me as any family does. Now, I think you wanted some things. Um, I I have a good idea. Might be able to help you out here. Oh yes, very much so. Ah, uh, yeah. We we did just make some money to spend. Very good. Uh, you have coin, and I have a have a things one sec and he's like leaning back and raising up these sort of cloak robe that goes over his back and he's kind of like reaching um into his like left armpit with his right arm past the armpit and you hear this like strange squelching sound and then rustling and then what sounds like knives hitting each other and then something that sounds like boxes moving terrific oh. Thank you, I feel insane. In the membrane. Yeah, man. Insane. I pat his very sticky head. Now you're stuck. Now you're all stuck. <laughs> Roll the beyond stuck. You are sticky. Who said you could touch me? Oh no, <laughs> I said Orin. <laughs> Nobody is touching you, Brutus. I, I do that not <laughs> like to slap his bald head. <laughs> you do not rub my head for good luck. <laughs> All right, the first thing I'm going to give you is uh, a bag. And he pulls out this, like, nondescript leather satchel. Who bought it? Um, I feel like Baldrick is the, the most responsible with a bag. Pass it here. All right. Um, and he sort of like looks at you, Baldrick, and passes you over a bag, uh, which I have now maneuvered into your inventory. What's that, Mr. Baldrick? Well, can I borrow this? Uh, Baldrick reaches out and grabs Orange Staff. Hey. Thanks. He opens up the top flap of the bag, and he is going to try and put the entire staff into the bag. Like some carnival magic trick, the staff defies physics and goes all the way into the bag, despite being easily three times the length. Oh, oh shit, Arn, that's a cool trick. Orn rips his hands out of from here. There's like hair still on his hand, and he claps. He goes... And then it sticks together. He goes, oh. Oh, oh, bud. Well, looks like this isn't just an ordinary bag. Kind of figured I'd test that. Huh. Uh, Magic bag. Oh, yeah. You know, one of my family members, they oh, had yeah. a bag like that. You see, I think it was my brother, Jimimus, who Baldrick bought it. Baldrick is ignoring him and counting out the cost of a bag of it holding. <laughs> 
Hey, picture, can you do me a favor? Yeah? You want to be my friend? Of course. I, I thought we were friends. You know, well, I just want to make sure you're my friend because friends usually lick the sap off people's hands so they're no longer sticky. Could you lick this off? Could you be less <laughs> disgusting for one second? Wait, sorry, pardon? <laughs> sorry, what? I, 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 I can't know, unstick that's... myself. Could you help? You're processing this? <laughs> I am fucking processing this. Just like a little dialogue sound. This whole episode's going to be <laughs> what, uh, what, what bonus do you have to deception? Oh, uh, good question. Uh, I mean, it's not deception. Oren is genuine. Uh-huh. I need you to roll mm. deception against me. <laughs> you like my gang master? <laughs> He's my gang master. <laughs> oh, you can hear him too? <laughs> oh, Oh, wait, I'm not playing that character again. Picturn, like, looks at you and and shakes his head. <laughs> just, just, just like a shake. No, not like that. I'm not a friend like that, no. <laughs> Oren has incredible sadness on his face. So much as to where it's just, like, utter disappointment. He looks at his hands, like, in desperation, going, Oh, I, I guess I'll deal this without friends. Hey, Baldrick, at, at that exact moment, you notice that, like, inside the bag, um, like, coming out with the, 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 the staff that you sort of, like, pushed in there is, yep. uh, like, a pair of gloves. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up one of the pairs of gloves, and I'm going to quickly just look it over in my hand. They, they, are, they look like white, almost surgical gloves. Hmm. Hey, Oren. Yeah? Uh, Thurston, do I have to make a roll to slide these gloves onto his hand so that they are permanently stuck there? As long as he doesn't resist, nope. <laughs> do you resist me gloving you? Bajik, what are you doing, Bajik? Uh, Bajik! <laughs> I, 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 I fucking I, 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 I adhere the gloves first. to your hands I need to be with glue. I need to be unstick first. Ah, watch it now. I, I, I am I okay if he wants gloves. to do. I'm okay if he does wants to do a grapple against my fortitude save. Yeah, give me an athletics <laughs> check, Aldrich. You can do uh, it. Me? Yeah. All right. I'll give you a 14. Not great. Uh, my fortitude is a 12. So you would have to get a 22. Goes, nah, nah. When my hands are on sticky, I'll put them on. Just put them in my pocket. Oh, put do you need some bag. kind of lubrication? I can help with that. And Rahul will, of course, barge in and just put his hand over Oren's disgusting sticky hands. And God, yeah, you want to give me an athletic stick? I do not like that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> At all. You want to give me an athletics check there, Rahul? Uh huh. Here's athletics. I'm good at that. 19. It's only a 22. Fuck! It's okay. It's okay. Wait. What are you doing? Don't worry, I got it! And picked her. Ah, no, dude, no, from no. down down. He told me to help you! Baldrick, Rahua, hold it! Okay, here we go! We got one glove on! We got the other glove on! There we go! Yes, we're doing this! We're really doing this! Alright, so Oren has gloves on now, and they're yes. stuck to his hands permanently. Correct. Good. There's elevator never music touch playing Baldrick's head. Again. <laughs> He will never experience the ecstasy of touching something with his fingers. Those wax And then we learned these really were good these were gloves yet. enchanted to set people on fire. Who wear them, at least. Oh, now he's just burning. <laughs> this is all very exciting. I would still right. like to create... Lotus smiles, his head, like, bobbing back and forth between all of you. Are you just dumping water on him, like, from a bucket? No, from my hands, because I have create water. Hand bucket. Yeah, if you're in contact with the other Blotus, you, you'll you'll know that this is pretty standard fare for us. I like it. I, I, I'm I glad that someone does. I like it, too. There's more in the bag. Oh, there's more in the bag. I'm going to just take it from Baldrick and start pulling things out. Go for it. Okay, so the first thing you pull out are a pair of goggles. Oh, very fashionable. 
They appear uh, to look almost identical to the goggles that Dr. Krim wore before her untimely chainsaw car related end. Oh. Huh. Uh, well, Tanny's taking a nap, so Baldrick, do you, can you identify these? Uh, oh, hang on, I know what these are. He'll uh, take them for a moment, and can I roll crafting on them to figure yeah. out what they are? Because I already know what these do. I know because I bought them. Because because this is on your list of purchasing. Yeah, twenty eight. Yeah, this is a uh, set of alchemist goggles. They are, um, when they're worn, they give you a plus one item bonus on crafting checks um, to, like, craft alchemicals and a plus one item bonus to attack rolls with alchemical bombs. Yeah, uh, I'm going to slide these on under my helmet and then I'm going to call that done. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you take them. See, you could have got those. If you just murdered Dr. Krim like I assumed you would have when you met her, these could have been yours way earlier. Listen, here's the here's the <laughs> funny thing is we could have we could have been palling around with her right now if it weren't for the fact that you told me to kill everyone with a car. I just <laughs> gave you the car. You chose hey, hey, to do hey, what wait, you No, wanted. you told me. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we did we did kill her. Where's our loot? <laughs> uh it's Hey, hey, Oren, go back to the chainsaw car and start rooting through the internals. Tell me how that goes for you. Yeah, it'll go great. It gets stuck in the gears. <laughs> now that he's all sapped up, it's it's a yeah. brilliant or, plan. Oren was in there. He could have grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I love this. I love this chat comment. Thurston can only TPK the party when Erndil takes control. Damn. <laughs> Arn, like, uh, uh, Thurston cool. has to outsource the hitman. <laughs> no, he can't do it himself. Yeah, he he it. Thurston yeah. could TPK us anytime that he wants. The only difference is Erndil has the active malice against his fellow players. Correct. Hostile GM. Hostile GM. Hostile GM. There's no anyway, I'm going to stick my arm in the bag. Hostile GM. I have a question. Keep rooting through. <laughs> While our party members are rooting through the funny magic space bag, uh, would you consider Oren's hands of bulk light or less? Like, he's, he's small and fragile, and I could crush him. Are you him trying to cut his hands off? The sun. No, I'm not trying to cut off his hands. Why do you think what that? What the fuck? Yes, for the bulk of his hands. I need to know because I can, potent I can help out. I can clean him up. You can clean him. You can you can clean you can clean him up. Sure. Uh, okay. I I cast prestidigitation on Orin's hands. Yeah. You can you can get the gunk off of his hands. I'm free. He's degunked. I'm, I'm free like a true friend would help me instead of a traitor. And he looks at. Uh, at that point, <laughs> uh, uh, off his hands or no fucking hero. Jesus Christ. Out. Volley just pulls a whole staff out. And it's not the one that the Baltric was using to fish. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, well. What's this, Mr. Bodice? Well, you see, it's a very good for helping a people. Oh. You like to help the people, don't you? Yeah, I like helping people in need. Looks like a picture. Uh, all right. I uh, got him on you. I, I put the glue. I did what I tried. You did the best you could, Picter, and we still have to you know. <laughs> Gestures ripping off his hands. <laughs> God. How do you gesture that? Rahua takes off his hand. It's, a gest it's not a oh, gesture, yeah. that's the act of doing it. But it's a All right, which I which one of you helpful boys wants the helpful staff? Uh, I'll I'll take it. My current All one's right. kind of, he kind of shows his current staff. It's filled with, like, guts and bits shredded and it's all mangled. Oh, you can't show your current staff because it's currently in the bag. He looks at oh. his hands again, but not from the horror of the stick. He's like, oh. <laughs> it's gone. All right, here. Have have the staff. Thanks. You helpful, helpful boy. <laughs> the what what did chaos. I acquire, Thurston? Uh, you are, would you like to give me a nature check to identify this magic item? No, that's the other thing. Well, yeah, well, you yeah, got ready to identify magic, you goobas. <laughs> I wrote a, I wrote a 19 with a 33 total. What is the subject? Uh, this is what is the subject? 
I like the 1100 bits dedicated to Tannhauser right now. Very good. Um, I uh, unlocked that DLC. DLC. <laughs> DLC. <laughs> All right. So um, you, you've you've acquired a staff of healing. Um, so it is a staff that grants you an item bonus to the hit points you restore any time you cast the heal spell uh, using your own spell slots or charge using the staff. Um, in this case, the item bonus is plus one. Um, and you can cast Stabilize and Heal from this uh, this sucker. Yeah. There you go. Heal. Yeah. The Staff of yeah. Healing. Yeah. yeah, pretty much this helps me do just a little bit more. That, impaired with my gloves. I don't think we explained what the gloves were. Um, do you want me to identify those as well? Yeah, I'll say you're 33 counts, um, okay, since you'll probably okay. be looking at the gloves as well. Those are healer's gloves. There's a trend going on of healing here. Mm. Um, they give you a plus one item bonus to medicine checks, but also uh, once per day you can do a one action with them, and you can uh, heal an adjacent creature, restoring 2d6 plus seven hit points to that creature. Yeah, so Pretty for cool. people who have not picked up, uh, it is a reminder... Uh, for everyone listening and watching, uh, we are level six. We leveled up last session. At the end of that last episode, we, we leveled up, and um, I decided to go a little bit more on the healer role uh, to try to help people out. And I haven't been able to take like a free archetype either for a while. We just kind of held off on it a little bit, so I decided to go all medic, uh, dedication and stuff. So I'd be like, okay, we'll, we'll just go healing. <laughs> you know, I think it might work out better. So that's what we did. Then it goes healing. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and then finally, Vali, uh, of note in there, there seems to be some things that are like still jangling about in the bottom. But um, you also managed to pull out from the bag an ashen rod capped with mm. steel on either end. Ooh. Ooh, that's a best one. What What's this one do? It could be anything. It could be anything? It could be anything. Uh, hmm. Baldrick Bali nods, not an understanding. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Baldrick's going to take it, and he's going to bend it over his knee. Hey, you want to give me a crafting check while you do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Give you a 25. Uh, yeah, you as you do so, um, the end seems to adjust into like a claw hook, like trowel almost. Hmm. And then when you move it back, it seems to go into like the shape of a spade. Hmm. Uh, so you identify this. This is a traveler's any tool. You can activate it with two actions. You imagine a specific simple tool, and the any tool transforms into it. This transforms the wooden portion into any haft, and the metal caps into spades, uh, hammer heads, things of that, that like. Um, so yeah, you can basically transform this to be almost any tool you want. Interesting. That looks up your alley. Looks up all of our alley, I'm afraid, because it's kind of a multi-tool. Well, we'll keep it in here until we need it. At the bottom, however, um, Vali, that's where you notice several small uh, rune stones that seem to be jangling about. Oh, here we go. Here's something I recognize. I'm going to pull them out. Yeah, um, so you recognize that there is, like, several that seem to have the same mark uh, of striking that you've seen before, a couple that have some, some armor bonuses. I'm just going to summarize this for our uh, our illustrious audience here. Um, and I'm also not going to have the party have to, like, spend a bunch of time, like, pulling out hammers and clanging and applying these runes. Uh, we're going to we're gonna speed run that a bit for the sake of time. But um, essentially, uh, Erndil got a striking rune for our, for Baldrick's crossbow. Hulky got an armor potency rune for their armor. Odo Roshi got a striking rune. What's that going on, Odo? Uh, the, um, uh, one of the gun I use. The Martinet's guns. Ah, yeah, yeah, one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of them. I usually okay. don't use the second. 
that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Um, except, except they're they're already striking weapons, so we might have to look at that. That might they already have the striking. Oh, they are. Uh, unless you upgraded one already. Yeah, I no, they already they have it built in. So that. Uh, oh, oopsie doopsie. Yeah. Well, that's fair. I did you get, not realize that. Yeah, 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 no worries. See, see, look, it all works out. You also were, uh, you bought an armor potency rune, I believe? Yes. For yourself. Um, which your armor also has. What? Yeah, Volley, you're your <laughs> plus one studded leather. Owned. Owned well, uh, I guess we saved money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but. I'm um, striking rune right now. Yeah. <laughs> I would like. Oh to no! We him. should. We had a way to go over it. I kill you. I'm sorry. I kill you in half. <laughs> I also appreciate. Defense. I also appreciate that speaker has a striking rune and also has a striking weapon already. So yeah, I had to remind them two days ago to do it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah, I think you got those last time we saw Blotus with a, you know, Blotus Aura, so. Yes. <laughs> in, in, in my defense, the Luminous Daggers do not say plus one. You have to open them up for that, and I don't know uh, what any buttons do. I'm very afraid. Somebody please tell me where I am, what I'm doing. <laughs> would like the, the any tool. <laughs> I can hold on to the any tool. You can trust pick turn Squelchfoot to have something that could be anything. I'm real good with all sorts of equipment, you know. I'm gonna make it a megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> the iconic simple tool, the megaphone. <laughs> it, it turns into a cone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those, I think those were a thing, like a, those cheap megaphones, just this widened cylinder. Picturn's hand is slowly moving towards the any tool. I slide it into the fucking bag of holding. Which you are holding, okay. Yes. I am holding the bag of holding. Picturn's squelch foot. Oh, that's fair. You know, I, I suppose it makes sense for you to carry that, Baldrick. You're, you're a bit more, uh, as they say, versed in those types of things, I guess. I have a plan most of the time of what we need, so, yes. So that's a what uh, what you need, and uh, I'll be needing your coin, and he will uh, take the the appropriate amount of uh, of coinage. Uh, so I will like I, I will subtract all of the extraneous <laughs> rune purchases from that as well. Haha! <laughs> uh, yay! This blood is just open his mouth. He goes, and then there's like all the gold coins. Just <laughs> Luigi's leave us, mansion like, vacuum. Yeah, For real. Yeah. It's like no, he just, just like he puts coins. it like back into his armpit like satchel where he pulled the bag oh. out of. Oh, that's gross. That's real. The, that, that means the money's marked. <laughs> exactly. The deep lotus lore. <laughs> like uh, like a <laughs> investigator comes in, started looking around all these gold coins, going, he's like, "All right, some of these were trafficked through. <laughs> Smells like lotus's money." <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. That, that, that's... Ah. Okay, uh, let's see here. As you're doing that, I, so, yeah. uh, Captain Valentin asks, can you turn it into a vehicle? No, it's a simple item thing. A vehicle is not a We're simple We're done making item. vehicles. We're done a making car, vehicles. A car does not, like, a car technically exists, but it's not I would not say a bicycle is pretty simple. Yes. Yeah, I, I, but... It's mostly meant for, like, like a spade or like a pole or something like that. Skateboard. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's it, <simple>, right? <laughs> Pocket simple chainsaw test. car, pogo stick, vuvuzela. <laughs> That's why you should have trusted Picturn with it. Exactly. I don't trust with that item. <laughs> No, well, no, you know, you know, oh, you know okay. that meme that like there's that one person holding their ears together and then that one person playing the trumpet right in their ear. That's what I. That's how I imagine our relationship is with Pick Turn. Oh, this poor little like, halfling boy. But I'm sorry, I you made him annoying on purpose. 
I gave him all of the tools you needed to survive in this swamp and do so well. He can literally conjure you a fucking cabin in this hellhole. <laughs> you sure are good with mud. <laughs> Mud. He's gonna build us a fucking Minecraft dirt house. Yeah, I'm gonna and then bam, it's done. I wanna dig straight <laughs> down and then put a block above me. We'll never be found. <laughs> well then, uh, that should be all you you'll be needing now. I'm very glad I could be of help. Sure thing. Thanks Do much, you know Lotus. Where you're going next? Um, I don't know anything. Looks like we're going to the uh, the southwest. That'd be our direction. Yep. Ooh, uh, you got to go through a bit of forested area that way. Any sort of points, even though it's like pure fog, maybe twenty feet away. Uh, it's a uh, it's a bit to find there. Just be careful if you go too far south. That place is really weird. Weird how? It, has it got a, a sort of rainbow sheen to it? That's right. There's a big rainbow in the sky. Uh, what's going on there, exactly? I don't know. I'm not going to the rainbow in the sky place. Do I look like someone who goes to the rainbow in the sky place? I yeah. don't know. I'm not homophobic. What? <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, he just, like, stares at you. Like, what the fuck are you implying about Blotus the Dragonfly Merchant? Damn. You got something to fucking say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> say it again. Get in my fucking face. The fuck did you Breaking say? Scratch. <laughs> like, Breaking is weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, on that note, uh, if you're going to Southwest, you'll you'll come to uh, to the lake. What? What's at the lake? Well, there's a smaller lake with an old, uh, old little church to the to the pond. What? What does what does the church represent? Well, it was dedicated to the pond. Oh, to the uh -huh. pond. I thought it was a pond. Well, it kind of is a pond, too. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> there, was a, there was a man there. He, he came uh, every, every month to tend to it. Walked into, the, walked into the little lake, tended to the building, walked out. Interesting. Would that guy be friendly? He was always very nice. One of the kindest of souls I'd ever met. Uh. Did, he, did you know what he looked like? Oh, yes. A very tall fellow. Had a long, long beard. Uh, fairly thin, though. Had a, had a blue cloak. Oh. Looks like a lord really wasn't going to the south. Well, I have no reason to believe he'd lie about that, at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't get a beat on that guy. Oh, Mr. Blotus, like, gonna... Blotus smiles at you like he has no idea what you're talking about or knows everything that you're talking about. Simultaneously. Yes. Does he know? He know. He's a knower. He knows. <laughs> He's a knower! He's a knower. All right. Uh, anything else we should be on the lookout for, Mr. Blotus? Oh, no, I would just be careful. These are swamps. But they're full of the spooky ookies. Well, we've dealt with a handful of spooky ookies in our time. I think we can handle it. Very good. All right, anything else we need? Do we need water or rations? No, I don't think no, I so. Think we're still good for now. Yeah, me too. He starts just eating a worm he's found. Wow, that's great, Orin. Hulky channeling his own irritation for this bit. <laughs> just looking like, down like at Orin and just, just like, in, in all seriousness, like, wow, that's great. <laughs> 
that's like, that's like great. That bit from Jimmy Neutron where he's like yeah. Carl shows Jimmy a picture of Froggy Drew. That's like that's the exact same energy. Hey Jimmy, I drew a frog. <laughs> that's great, Carl. I'm going to shoot you now. That was the actual dialogue <laughs> said. <laughs> I can't believe they got away with that. Honestly, they found it out after the Jimmy Neutron game got leaked. <laughs> All the source files, everything. Correct. Hashtag Q Nation. We out here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. thanks, Mr. Blotus. I guess we'll be on our way. We appreciate all all your uh, uh, uh Where am I looking for? Hey, Page. Wait, we were his patrons. Yeah, yeah, we were the patrons. We do appreciate your dragonflies, though. They're lovely. Yeah. That's right, they are. Oh, and of course, I'm going to hand him my uh, my 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 punch card. Very good, clock. All right. Uh, now, Ruhu, my friend, would you help me? Sure. With wh what? The rest of you go away. Uh, what? Oh. Um. Uh. Ruhu, is he about to kill you? I don't know. I mean, death is kind of inconsequential to me anyway. But sh I'll be fine. I'm sure. We need you around. Don't. You'll we'll be fine. You'll be fine. 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 I'm sure it's very nice for you that death is inconsequential. Anyway. <laughs> just, look, just looking at her. Just not even picking up on it. <laughs> Fucking like whiplash I'm getting from this episode, y'all. <laughs> they wanted to be weird. I'm trying to keep this on track, but there's only so much I can do against three people. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll leave Blotus and Rua alone. Yeah, so all of you start, like, heading into the fog. Picturn does, like, a, a slow moment where he pauses at the threshold of the fog enveloping him, turns around, looks at you, Rahua, and then turns and goes into the fog. Oh, as right. soon as... Move, big man? As soon as he does... Um, like, it seems like Blotus's arm extends two lengths and grabs your wrist... Oh, you're touching me now. I don't like this, but okay. Now you have to be careful. You're going into the danger. Uh, what is there? What, what, They're what going to that? come for you. You'll have you'll have to find through the village and through the sadness ahead and through the skulking and through the melting and all of the things, all of the things that are about to start now. Oh, the menagerie of suffering is to begin. It will begin very soon, and you must lead them. You must lead them to where they need to go, not where they want to go, because sometimes you're going to need things for where you need to go. You, you wanted to know about me. You wanted to know about Blotus and his past. You're a kind of soul, even if you are built up of uh, the anarchy. But that's all right. Blotus understands the anarchy. Blotus understands chaos. Blotus understands so much. Now, give Blotus a little push so I can get back into the waterway. Blotus can't really be doing it on his own. Of course, I'd be happy to. We will talk again. You or your kin who will shove him off the shore and wave at him. Yeah, he, like, waves as well. Thank you very much, a tree person. You have a fun journey now. Thank you very much, fly guy. I'll keep my friends alive, maybe. Dragonfly. Yes, or whatever. And, like, as soon as he disappears into the fog, you can kind of turn around, and the fog is parted now in this area enough that you just see your companions who've started... Like walking away, but then have stopped. It's okay. Everything's fine. It's it's all great. He didn't kill me. I can tell that you're still here. Wally, do you think uh, that guy like um, like possessed Rahua, and now that's actually Blotus, but not Rahua? Um, you know, I don't know. I don't see like flies or dragonflies or, or butterflies or any kind of fly swarming around him right now. Uh, uh, do and a, I, do I don't think Blotus is oh. Oh, okay. That's the best version of Blotus I've ever met, though. How many I'll Blotuses have you met? Well, Whoa. there was Blotus the horse merchant. Horse? Did he have horse? a cage full of horses? Well, yeah, of course he did. He had a horse, of course, of course. How, 
how large was this uh, horse Blotus? Well, he was a halfling. <laughs> that clarifies absolutely nothing. Thank you so much. How Tim. big was he? <laughs> 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 so he was kind of me sassed. Interesting. Um, anyway, Ru, are you good? Oh, yes, I'm totally fine. I sent him off on the river like he asked. Uh, thank you, chat. The, the cage he held was the same size for the horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Excellent. Orn, Orn comes with Rahua. We'll go like, I need to make sure the real Rahua. Make sure okay. you aren't possessed. What's my last name? I don't know. You never told me. Ah, this is you. Oh, he hugs you. <laughs> he hugs, he hugs, like, there's a half-hearted, like, half-hug down because he's shorter. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I, I'm glad to see you too, Orin. Are you, you're not sticky again, are you? No, not yet. All right, let's go. <laughs> not yet. I don't not like yet. that, but okay. <laughs> Things are going to get really fucked up soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> like picture and like turns like what 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 do you mean? Orin is now uh, traveling. Uh, Don't worry uh, about it. What? Uh, you know what? That sounds about right. Uh, traveling based upon the the uh, trajectory of our lives. All we need to know is that we are going to go where we're supposed to go and where we need to go, not where we want to go. That's not helpful at all. Look, it, it's cryptic information. You wouldn't understand, Baldrick. I'm do I do apologize. That is correct. I do not understand. Blink, blink. All right, let's head out, lads. On that note. So my understanding now is that the the group will be heading this direction. Yeah, that seems pretty yes. good. May I, um, as we're traveling and stuff, can Orin, yeah. um, exception check or do various things or maybe survival to kind of look for like tracks that would give him an idea that like maybe monsters or some evil things are probably going to eat us might be around as so he help his party fight it or be alert for it. So there's a couple different actions you can take while we're oh, doing. Oh, Thurston! Yes, yes, exploration activities, my friend. As you are all traveling, you may you may utilize the checks. If you look down the well exploring activities, car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just got a motorcycle. Just yeah. blow this revving up his his wrath with the <laughs> with the fan engine like. He's got one of those, like, buy your, like, swamp boats or whatever. Just oh. fucking air boats. <laughs> <laughs> the chainsaw boat. True. Oh, All right. God. At this point, Aaron, though, I kind of don't want the guy to stop because we just make it a bit every time. <laughs> I know. It's like, we, we've now integrated that asshole driver <laughs> into our campaign. He's become canon, and, it, and I hate yeah. it. <laughs> Such is life in the zone. God damn it. All right. All right. Long what, are each, fucking hell, what are each of you doing? Again, you have these exploration activities to sort of recount. There's covering your tracks to hide your passing through an area, do tracks to track someone you're, you're following, avoid notice, detect magic, which, you know, one of you can't do anymore. Um, investigate, see if you can recall knowledge as you're traveling through an area, repeat a specific spell, scout ahead, or do perception checks to, to search. I'm going to scout, as I have okay. been, because I do that the best. Absolutely. Right. Now, what am I getting for this? What is the option? In this case, you don't have to make a check for scouting. You just you just do it. I'm just doing it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Rahua, what would you like to do? Uh, I will be investigating, as I've explored the solitude before, and hopefully will be able to help us get through whatever's coming next. Ooh, very, very good. Okay, Rahua is investigating. All right. I'm a clever, smart boy. You are a clever, smart boy. Thank you, voice in my head. You're welcome. Um, cool. 
Uh, bu- 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 you ever think whenever like, you do the thing, no. you go like, man, thanks to, thanks to the voice in my head. You ever think that there's like a party of multiple gods that they like, uh, they follow to where they're all like, they start arguing to say, no, that's my voice in my head, not your voice. They're all just possessive of, uh, yeah, they're, all, they're all just like, no, that's mine. That's my game master. My game master is my mine, god, not your mine. god. What do they all sound the same? And it turns into a huge conspiracy. All right. So it sounds to me like we've got these. Oh, and this time we'll have Volley joining the pack. What's Volley going to be doing? Yeah, you uh, get to do something. It yeah. says in the thing I get to do two uh, actions. Yeah, because you're stupid fast. Yes. I am very stupid fast. Uh, uh, and I, I am continually making myself stupid faster. Um, let's see. The uh so we've already got Baldric scouting. Um so I believe that I will hmm I will avoid notice and search. Okay. Cool. Despite being very blue, Volley will disappear into the uh, into the shrubbery. Or I, I would it. like to track. Oh, Orin is going to track. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Close to the thing I wanted to do, but then you threw rules at me and I got sad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all right. Wow. Damn, Damn hostile GM making us follow rules. Yeah, I know. We right. never follow the rules around here. Yeah, I know. What's the point? I just want freedom like that car in our Dill's background. Um, all right, Baldrick. <laughs> You scout. Rahua, you investigate. Give me a nature to recall. I am the scout here. Sure, give me a moment. Sure Bonk. thing. Activate my sheet. Disappeared on me. I can go further beyond. Ha! <laughs> eh, 26. Okay, cool. Um, that, that'll be good. Oren, do you want to you wanna track for me, please? <laughs> yeah. What exactly are you trying to track? Or are you just looking uh, for tracks in the general? The general idea or? is, um, it might make the DC harder if I make it more general, but uh, since we're heading to Rainbow Town. Uh, well, you're, basically... you're, you're, you're heading this way right now. You're heading southwest. You're not heading to Rainbow Town directly, as far as I was aware. Okay. No. Unless let's, you want to head to Rainbow Town, y'all. Let's clarify that. No. Are we heading to Rainbow Town or no? We're not heading to Rainbow Town. Okay. We're, we're, uh, Rainbow we're, Town. we're going to to uh, this square. I think that's kind of the direction okay. we're going. Uh, right, and we're if we find there. anything right. interesting leading to Rainbow Town, maybe. maybe. Uh, if if you don't allow me to look for generalized tracks and basically be like, oh, there's evidence of this creature here or this thing that's in this area. Or, or to find like pretty much tracks that are like, hey, they had to drag this his friend somewhere. Try to find evidence of that just in the general direction and follow it. That's the idea. If not, I'll just cover our tracks. Keep it simple. Hi. Um, give me a survival check. That is uh, 14 with a 28 total. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Volley, you were you were gonna give me a, a stealth and a perception, please. Yes, indeedy dandy. I'll start with perception. Oh, oh not very good. That's a 16. Uh, and then give me your stealth, please. All right, I'm a little better at stealth. Eesh. That's much better. That's a 31. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So, uh, a couple things. Uh, Rahua, you, you start t- traveling through this, this forested area. The terrain starts sort of changing up as you turn around away from Zabble Zaps now that you've gathered the gear you required from from the convenient Blotus encounter. You begin making your way towards the southeast as as you, you make your, your way further and further. Um... You you start to take on like to, or to take note of the area, the terrain. Uh, you you try to to get a sense of what would be around here, um, and and for the most part, you see a lot of like common common small animal types. You know, you even see see some, you know, like 
deer equivalents moving through the area. You see some like various reptiles and other things. Just just a lot of a lot of wildlife you would expect to see here. Swamp Except deer. swamp deer, exactly. Except swamp, swamp deer. Got flippers. Um yeah, yeah. Except my good friend, as you are doing this, um, my good good friend Rahua, as you are doing this, you do note much to your dismay. Well, not dismay, but more perhaps unnerving unnervingness. Um, there are there are very few. Um, intelligent creatures. You would expect to encounter some intelligent creatures that might like be hiding, uh, but there don't appear to be anything like standard intelligence here, um, which is a bit strange. You would expect to see like people or if not people, some, you know, magical beasts or whatnot here, but you're not seeing any of that. And so it's almost like something has, like, scared them off, perhaps? And so that's what you are noticing with your check. Um, Oren, with your survival check, you're noticing uh, you're noticing tracks from other people as well. Um, there are several tracks that appear to go towards this northwest area. Um, so it looks as though people were like leaving this area heading northwest there's a lot of different style tracks either animal beasts of burden you know probably a couple yeah. dank bears um but like any tracks you're finding seem to be moving generally to the northwest area now nothing on the direction of our dragon marker uh your dragon marker does not appear to have anything um specific there's there's older tracks that appear to be heading to the southwest but all the recent stuff you're seeing uh is heading to like yeah. the northwest now that 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 doesn't quite tell you if you know your dragon is um in one of those areas or not but certainly certainly seems like it could um there, there, that if if someone was there it was a while ago which would match up to some of the info you've heard I wonder, like, like this in a group going, saying, like, finding a lot of old tracks and where what we imagine Gorgamonger may be, but look, there's like wagons here. This seems to be like, you know, maybe like maybe horses, maybe ox. I can't quite tell from the shape here, but definitely not something that should be native here. Um, hmm. Various, a lot of activity heading more uh, northwest. Hmm. And there's tracks from a wagon of some kind they were probably hauling something large so that does narrow it down would it be it the twang help either whatever was here seems to have picked up and left well anything with half a brain to scrape together it's odd uncharacteristic for this area of the solitude hmm. i would be on your guard my friends as i don't know what we are going to encounter ahead. All right. Look alive, men. We'll keep looking forward. All right. Eyes up. <laughs> aye, aye. All right, we'll, like, do a little salute. <laughs> aye, aye. aye, aye. Okay. Yeah. Um, all righty. You carry... You continue on your way. Um... Temperature is fairly, fairly like not cold, not humid, nothing, nothing uncomfortable at this phase. But it's just you're feeling a bit disconcerted in your travels at this point. Um, clearly, like even the wildlife you're seeing seems constantly spooked as you're traveling now. Um, you, you take the better part of several days, um, another three days of traveling together, uh, camping by, by moonlight when you can, rain coming down. Um, pick turn regularly creates the cabin, but even even your, your halfling friend seems to have like kind of 
fallen in on himself, casting casting a cabin, casting um, his wandering guide magic to help guide you through this area, but seems very morose during these travels. Um, each of you... Uh, are, are spending this time doing what you've you've indicated. You're you're you know, scouting ahead, Baldric. You're you're sort of at the forefront of this, while Vali is maneuvering around your group, staying stealthy, trying to, to perceive things. Orin is doing tracking, or who is keeping tabs on on the immediate terrain around you. This is this is working out very well. Um, and after a while, you eventually break out of this forested area. Um, and, and when I say forested, like it's not a dense forest. It's just just, there's lots of dead trees, some with some ancient foliage on them, some that have just been overgrown with fungi. It, it, it's a it's a hodgepodge of terrain until it sort of gives out into a bit of a bigger, broader area that you make your way into. Um, as you do enter this area, the terrain changes takes a, a very, very flat note here, um, punctuated very soon by, by rolling hills and the occasional set of trees. Um, coming out of the forest, you quickly find yourselves a path with which to travel on. Um, and, and much as, as you were informed, the path does seem to lead towards something kind of a kind of a depression even in this area uh, a l l small pond a, l a large pond a lake perhaps um, but as, as you make your way towards it the the air takes on like an acrid stench um, like all of your nostrils start to to burn except for Rahua's Rahua your your sphere senses a change on the air uh it seems like there's like a chemical stench on the air. You think that uh, we're heading to Site B? Can Orin roll a nature check to see if he can if and why? Mm, I whoops. assist him. Just ignore that. Um, could you assist? Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, Orin can give me a nature, and then we can get an assist. All right, Oren rolled an 18 to a total of 32. 18 for a total of 32. Give me, give me that sweet assist. Ooh, a 16. That'll, that'll, that'll still, still assist. Um. All right, Oren, you get the sense that there is something caustic ahead. It's Baldrick. Yeah. Uh, smell that. Do I have any to identify exactly what it may like something I can a word I can put to it instead of just caustic or it's just caustic. like like acidic perhaps that uh, Warren will or body like you know what that acidic smell is like I can't quite put my name on put a name on it but could you identify what this is and Orin will try to explain more in detail um I mean can I identify acidic. it by the smell as well through like a crafting but I know um, this this foul acidic stink. Yeah, give me a crafting check. Okay. Uh, twenty-five. It's definitely the smell of acid. Ooh. All right. Well, that's. He continues to sniff the air for a few moments. I can't tell if it's a manufactured acid or like a gastric acid, but it definitely smells like acid. So. Acid. Quite a lot you of wager, it, I can tell. You wager we're getting closer to more uh, scientific bullshittery? If not scientific, there's likely some kind of natural formation of acid ahead, because that smell shouldn't be... It really shouldn't be... Uh, noticeable from this distance we haven't even seen anything yet right the path you're following seems to break away uh, and you you can tell the smell and what what it appears to be uh, the site of a lake to the to the north 
east of your location. Um, it's very difficult to spot just because there's a lot of tree cover. There's still some fog, but you're able to see slight, like slight examples of it in the distance, as well as that smell. Um, but it breaks off from the path you're on. Now, it's not like you're going through like hard packed terrain or anything like that. It looks like it's just a bunch of kind of desiccated dead trees that lead the way, and it's maybe like a 20, 30 minute jaunt off the path to this location. Um, but you can tell that the path you're on seems to carry on further to the southwest. Um, and as you've kind of entered this area now, and you're getting your bearings at the at the edge of this this new new little hex, let's uh, set up some uh, some more examples where you can tell that to the southwest and south directly is more marshland, and then to the northwest is a is a like much larger lake, um, probably. Or, uh, yeah, lake, but disconnected from this small one you're you're seeing in your immediate uh, in your immediate vicinity. Well, I guess let's keep going, everybody. Uh, so down we go. Okay, are are you going to like head towards the smell, or are you going to yeah. keep uh, traveling? Horrible, Vovigan. If we could keep following it, there might be evidence of. Oh. Last thing we saw about Orgamonger's remains, it's. I, I would guess it would be further on where that smell is. Right. I would say it's worth investigating. Is your dragon the acid spewing kind? No, he was a. He was a white dragon. Hmm. <laughs> they might have case. made him the acid spewing kind. Don't. Baldrick just kind of holds up his hand as though he's trying to ward Bali from saying something. You know, potentially upsetting to, to <laughs> But still, yeah. uh, let's just keep an eye out. If it's not him, then it could be something else. Right. Okay. I, th I think we're heading to, uh, to yeah. Dragon Marker. Or well, the, the, okay. Sorry, sorry. I want to I want to clarify oh, here I'm, because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. yeah, yeah. So there is there's like a lake in the hex you're in, and that's where that smell is coming from. And oh, then the okay. your dragon marker is further to the southwest. Oh, so there's okay, basically okay. like something in this hex that you've now entered that you could explore, um, or you could keep going. I'd say checking yeah. out the lake is worth it because that is a very yeah. odd occurrence. And yeah, it might take it us further toward the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You make your way through the foliage. Um, Oren and Baldric and Rua, Vali, and, and Pick turn squilch foot, making your way through the desiccated trees, some of the greenery. Uh, when you finally come across a section of completely broken landscape and what i mean by broken landscape i mean that the ground here looks as though any moisture had been sucked up from it um it's like a wasteland with water that somehow laps against the shore giving it a, a slightly green coloration now that's not the thing that is most disarming about this um as you approach, you also spot like a segment of runes, stone runes that like come out of the ground. It looks like the L-shape wall of some ancient edifice that rises up about five feet, providing some cover here. Um, and then a, a much larger edifice that seems to be submerged in this kind of this tinged lake um, that sort of shimmers with greens and blues as you approach it. Um, but the thing that really makes you question each of your respective sanities are the umbrellas and towels that have been set up here. Making the entire area appear to have some sort of beach-like setup. That is a little upsetting, actually. Uh, are these recent? Or 
did this lake once sustain life? Who would be who would bathe in acid? What would Arn, bathe in acid? Arn would like to roll a perception check to see if the umbrellas are still intact and are new, or if they're old right. and and all that stuff. He's looking to see if, if they're old and messed up, then you know how are they still here. Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, yeah. You want to? You want to go up to him? Give me a perception check. Or can. Yeah. Uh, that is a tw uh, thirteen with a twenty-seven total. Okay. Uh, yeah, you started inspecting them, and like you can go up. There's no like ambush happening oh, yes, there. Yes, yes. Run up there. Get, get, get uh, up run there. up. I um, mean, the rest of you can kind of position where you want to go around here. Um, but as you go up to these and start investigating them, you can tell that they're like, they're they're not new, 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 but like they're they're also like you know, maybe a year or two old, if that. Hey, come on, guys. It's, it seems okay. And Orin would also like to Bam. crouch down, look for um, for evidence of activity, any survival check or tracks. Looking. Yeah, and as you, you get close um, and you start sort of looking around here, um, you, you notice there's, like, strange, like, tri-claw marks. Like, almost, like, very, very small, too. Um some kind of like avian tracks that run around and in fact with this cool map if you zoom in you can actually see them on the map right where you are or um you see little like tracks that are mulling about here they're much smaller than that of a of a human like me the roll or um you want to give me a, a nature check Okay, that is. I rolled a five, unfortunately, but that will result in a 19 total. It's some kind of like bird creature. Um, this is probably, you know, made sense by the fact that around here are, you know, like several, several feathers that you, you, you notice. Who in Papa Storm's name is bringing their chicken to the beach? <laughs> I don't know. I make a... Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was, I was just gonna ask to make a nature check as well. Yeah, give me, uh, give me, give me a nature check. Sure thing. I'm just trying to fill up dead air. Be like, yeah, twenty six. Oh, oh, Rahua. You know, you know exactly what these tracks are. Do well, I know? You know. You know exactly what it is. You've seen these these creatures before. You've had intimate experience with these creatures before, Rahua. Ah. Uh, they are a, a type of fey that you know very well. A, oh, a type of fey known as are. a sauce or... Oh, good. They vacation, too. Um, Pardon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you say this as you sort of stand at the edge. Uh, Baldrick, what are you doing as, as your, your companions have, have, like, come up and, like, started going around this, this beach set up here? Um, he is going to... This is a rough one. Uh, I'm going to keep back and ideally make a stealth check in order to try and remain hidden from anything that could be nearby. Yeah, sure, give me a stealth check. Cool. Let me just do that. Close the fucking saw a sword of her fucking clothes. Uh, not, not the fucking initiative. I need... There. Stealth. I'll roll it anyway. <laughs> no! Uh, 26. Yeah, okay, so that, like, keeps you hidden. You can just, like, yeah, move yourself. Baldrick is just wordlessly here. ducking <laughs> amid the trees while everyone is openly and obviously inspecting everything. Homer Simpson into the, uh, into the shrubs. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm turning into the name, I'm turning into the nameless one. I'm going to be going, left the shadows, back attack. I'll do four <laughs> times damage. Um, <laughs> all right, so, so Oren is, like, confused looking around, has found these tracks pointed above to Rahua. Rahua, you're having this, like, oh, no, they vacation moment. Uh, Vali, what are you doing? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, God. Um, 
Vali is gonna... Hmm. How tall is the are, are, are the ruins? So those are what's interesting, May. So this like this is coming up like five, ten feet in some areas. Like the walls are, are up and down. You can tell it kind of like starts hitting the water around this area here. There's a bit of like this discoloration. Um, the the building itself seems to be crumbled in a lot of points. There are some symbols on it you can see, um, but like. It appears to be the very obvious symbol, the symbol of the first house um, mm. and the modern interpretation of it with the prince included. Um, that's, you know, like set up in some of the walls as though to allow light through. Um, but they're very small and some of them have just like collapsed. You see like corners of them types of thing. Interesting. Well, I'm not particularly religious, so I think... Um, I'm going to investigate the water a bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to come up to the edge of it. And, sure. um, does it, is that where the smell is kind of originating from? Oh, yeah. Like the closer you get, it's, it's like hitting your nostrils. <sighs> I'm going to pull something out of my pack, just like, um, I don't know, like a rock or something like that. And I'm going to kind of just just toss it in and kind of see the effects of uh, of this acid, just how corrosive it looks to me. Yeah. Um, pick up a rock, toss it in. Uh, I dip like, my arm in it. There's, there's, <laughs> an immediate, like, there's an immediate like effect on the water. It begins to ripple. Um, there is a sizzling sound. Um, also, that's when you notice Vali, something um, right by you. Um, right around this area here uh, that I'm pinging, there is something partially lodged into the the sandy, broken ground here. It appears to be a skeleton. Huh. Um, that is dissolving. Like it's 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 not completely dissolved, but like the better part of it is dissolved. Um. And you can tell that it has, like, it's one of its, it, it's a human skeleton. It One of its arms is outstretched towards the shoreline. Huh. But it's missing one of its fingers. It's missing its ring finger. Hmm. Yeah, there doesn't look to be a good point around here to where I could get a vantage uh, and look further out over the lake. Hmm. How tall was the ruin again? Oh, like again, like it kind of goes five to ten feet around this stuff here. Okay. The stuff in the water is all submerged, though. So, okay, like, uh, the, the stuff, if you zoom out, and you you could show the stream, too, Zorn. Um, if you zoom out and look up top, there's, like, the rune is visible down there. Um, and you see, like, a much larger building in the water. Yeah. Um, but it's got like, and it, it's it's open, and those those rise up probably twenty feet, but are still underneath the water. It has a steep, steep drop there. Hmm. Or Interesting. Ponders. Like, well, you know, if we could go through acid and stuff like that, I'm not really quite willing to risk it. Could you do a quick flyover, Oren? Uh. I can't fly that far. Fair enough. Uh, I'm actually going to look around for this guy's ring finger. That's a very conspicuous thing to be missing. Do you yeah. uh, do you want to give me a perception check for initiative, Volley? Uh, pardon? A perception check for initiative, please. That, that's a 22, Thurston. May I ask why it's initiative? Uh... I mean, you know, <laughs> no particular reason. I mean, that would... I just, um, you know, no no particular reason. Um, can I get everyone except Baldrick to also give me perception for initiative? That'd be cool, thanks. Sure. Why? Oren rolled a 19, equaling 30 total. Nice. Uh, 
Cool. So, um, shortly after, after you, um, you break the, the, like, the surface water, uh, with your rock, like, the, the water is kind of waving about, um, but then as you're, you're looking about Vali, something, something stirs in the water. Tell me that the saucers swim now. They flush. No, instead something emerges from the water. A figure comes out from from the lake, seeming to appear out of the water. Um, it looks like a robed figure that clutches onto a spear. Um, specifically, there is the art. You should all see that beautiful Ooh. thing. Wow. Um, thanks, my name, Jers. You did cool art for this. Um, cool. And um, the air sizzles around the robed specter that glides towards you. The edges of its robe seem to dissolve in the air despite the dissolution reforming shortly after, as though the creature were constantly melting. There's no face visible behind its, um, its deteriorating hood, except there is a wide set of ominous teeth that are visible. The creature clutches a similarly incorporeal spear. And um, this thing that appears floats out of the water towards you, Vali. And as it does, the air around you seems to suddenly spin bark um, and you feel your, your your skin begin to, to, to crack somewhat as it seems as though you're corroding just from this thing being nearby um, but as it as it glides out it takes its spear and it attempts to stab you oh dear oh oh dear oh, indeed uh... Uh, as I will reveal to everyone my first role. Um, I have a question, Thurston. Yeah, of course. Uh, I technically rolled a 32 for initiative because I was stupid and pressed perception instead of initiative roll. I had oh. initiative. I should have more initiative than that ass. Because <laughs> you didn't, didn't go on the track there. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Well, fine. I'll move I, back but, then. But for... For, for the sake of brevity, because I did not, we didn't get it clarified. Let me, but underneath the acid wraith, I'll take one. I'll take my surprise <laughs> round on you. I'll, I'll, I'll be gracious about that. I messed up. Should have got that clarified. I wanted to point that oh, out. Oh dear. So no get mad. <laughs> uh, doesn't seem like uh like a nimble dodge would uh no. get rid of that crit. But... No. Ah. Uh gonna do 24 points of negative energy damage to you Ooh. ah shit damn boys and Big as it strikes damage. you you also now take 2d8 persistent acid damage from the strike oh damn shorty okay and then he goes to stab you again. And as the spec, it makes no sound. The only thing you hear is the, like the sizzling sound of bacon as this thing touches air. And it will hit you on its second attack as well. Oh, Play. what the shit? For nine points. <laughs> but Ow! Just nine. No, just nine. You're okay. Nine. Orin, you're up. Orin immediately sees us, goes, Volley! And he'll immediately two action heal straight over the volley, and he will do it at uh, second level. Hey. Okay. So he will basically point into Valley, and then he will do. Sorry, there's multiple buttons on this thing now. I think I do this one. I believe in you. Healing. Oh. What do you think Bali will respawn this yeah. time? So that will in be the 14. acid lake. <laughs> um, that will be 13. Four, uh, 14. Oh, for yeah. my of 14. Yes, that's right. Okay. Tools. Okay, Tools. I got it. Burp. Burp. 
Burp. There you go. Bam! And then uh, what Warren will do is he'll he will risk it. He's going to move for this final last action, move into the aura of this thing um, so he can be adjacent to Volley. And that'll be the end of his turn. Do I need to roll anything? or? Uh, I think. One sec. One sec. Oh. Um... I don't know if I can, like, uh, maybe this will work. No, probably not. Um, I think this would just roll. Give me a fortitude save. We'll just do it that way. It's easy. Good thing. Yeah. Oh, actually. Uh, I rolled a four. I will hero point that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. I did not. I would definitely not like that. Thank you, chat, for helping me with that. Uh, I rolled a 13 instead for a 25 total. 25 will will succeed, so you will take half of this. You will take four points of acid damage as you enter into this aura, as the air in your clothing begins to dissolve around this thing. <laughs> uh, Valley, uh, I got your back, Valley. Aldrich, oh, you're up. Uh, so I'm stealth from this thing, correct? I mean, yeah, as far as you're aware. Yeah. That doesn't help me because I need to know two hits. You okay, it's bad. going to have its flat footed against Thank you. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Ask the direct question, Pete. <laughs> that was a directed question. You fuck boy. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to make use of my debilitating uh, bombs skill, which okay. I picked up in the interim, which lets me quick alchemy something, which will have it have an additional effect. A uh, bomb, that is. Okay. In this situation, I will quick alchemy together a moderate alchemist fire. Okay. And I will give it the effect of causing the target to become flat-footed, since Bali is currently in melee with this thing, and it is not flat-footed against her. Absolutely. So, I'm going to do that. Now the question is, I target it, and then I select debilitating bomb, yes? Uh, yeah, I, I believe that's how it would work. We haven't tested this one out, this ability out yet, so Get I would ready, just make guys. the We're attack and we can, we, can, we can apply it, so, yeah. So I will do strike plus 12, on the target there. Mm -hmm. Down, go, go through. Uh, range penalty I'm fine with because I need to use all of my actions to do this from standing position. Yep. Uh, it is not showing the... Uh, let me see, dexterity. So it gets the application on itself. So this is all correct, good. And remember to target it. Oh, yeah, I have a target. Cool, cool. Go! With a gland total of 26. That will hit it. Okay. So I'll hit. So I'll roll damage first, and then we'll yep. deal with the potential flat-footed effect. We'll see how that works. Absolutely. Go damage. Damage is 11, plus okay. 4 splash. Okay, I will um, just apply the 4 on top. And then it is persistently on fire. So now this acidic specter is on fire. And let me, how do I do the flat footed here? Trigger use quick alchemy to craft an alchemical bomb. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, use your class DC for this saving throw. What the hell is my class DC? <laughs> um, I believe it'll... Ah, oh, there we go, 20. Yeah, yeah. 20. Yep, so yep, yep. Make what a, kind make of save, save is it? Uh, it is a... Fortitude? Fortitude, yes. Yeah. Push yeah, it. It, makes... it is not caught flat-footed by the explosion, but I did throw a bomb at it. Yeah, and it, it took some damage from that. Um, it's the air around it begins to, like, crackle and burn up. It continues its, its hissing sound around. Uh, okay, is that your, your go? Uh, Baldrix is going to shout at it. Stop ambushing us. We're busy. Yeah. Now just pick turns. Go. Okay. Um, pick turn will. Um, pick turn will go. And will. Inspire courage, right? 
he is going to inspire yeah. courage, despite all of you being such meanies to Pictern. He pulls <laughs> out his bagpipes and it's like, well, yeah, I remember one time I was on a beach and things didn't go too well. I'll just play his little ditty here and try to try to forget about that dark family type. And uh, all of you gave me effects of inspire courage. Courageous. To make it easier for I, you next time, you can put inspire yeah. courage in your hot bar, highlight everyone. And yeah, no, I, yeah, I need to, I need to do that next time. I think I can just do that with him. Yeah, cool. There we go. Nice. All right. So yeah, he inspires all of you in that and moved up a little bit. That's his go. Volley, you're up. Uh, I need you to start your round off by giving me a fortitude save, please. Oakley doakley. Thanks. E. Oh, that's a 15. Oh, that is a 15. You have no hero points, Volley. I have no hero point. And you must scream. Volley wasted you... them all last time eating apples. You will exactly. take eight points of acid damage just at the start of your round as this thing's aura chews into you. What would you like to do now? Ah, yucky, gross. Uh, I am going to. Um, I'm not going to tumble through this yucky water. Uh, I think that's a bad idea. In fact, you can tumble forward then back. You can go forward uh, then back. Into the forward and back. <laughs> hey, hey, Thurston, I got a question, yeah. actually. Am I allowed to shout at Volley as a plan? Yeah, of course. Volley, get back here. I got something for you. All right, gotcha, boss. Uh, and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to first uh, do a feint. Uh, I'm going to kind of fake him out a bit uh, to yeah, get yeah. my panache. Uh, I will target him with this. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's still a 20. That's versus his will DC, right? Yes. Yeah, no. No. No, in no. fact, in fact, that, um, that is a critical fail. Really? Yes, that means his will well, I guess I know. So. I guess I know not to uh, use fainting attacks against this guy now. Noted. Put in my hat for later. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad you're 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 giving me all this time to quickly double check fainting and see what happens if there's a critical fail effect. Oh, dear. oh excellent, excellent, excellent. Your faint backfires. You are flat-footed against melee attacks the target attempts against you until the end of your next turn. Oh dear. Well. So, uh, so yeah, you try to faint this thing, and it has no emotional reaction to you at all, and in fact seems to disturb you more than you are disturbing it. It yeah. reads you like a frickin' fiddle. Jesus. All right, well, next time I'll just have to do a backflip around. <laughs> um, in that case, I'm... Try to I'm... do something different. <laughs> <laughs> try to do something different. Uh, but no, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to give him a, a strike with the rapier, just kind of jab at him. No finisher, none of that. Um, eek. okay, better. That'll hit. That will indeed hit, uh, hit him. for 12 damage. Mm, yep. Um, and that is a magic weapon, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. It's got the runes in it. That does make it magical, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, you, excellent. You, you strike him, but you notice that some of the damage is not quite going through. He's resistant, oh. he's resistant. Oh, well, this just isn't my day. Anyway, I'm going to take my ridiculous move speed and uh, trundle on over to Baldrick as I was uh, informed to do. Yeah, you, you, you rush on back to, uh, to, to Baldrick. Very good. All right. That's the end of your go, Valley. Uh, that is going to be the end of my go. I put myself in defense mode and end my turn. Rahua! Oh, yeah. Then... Rahua, face tank. And then you also take four points of acid damage as the persistent acid damage continues. Ah! Make, you want to make a recovery, oh, wait, recovery check? check? Yeah. E. Man! Now out. Roll a two. It was yeah. almost an eighteen. 
You're still you're still acid acid log. So much acid. Well, he's damage. no good. Very bad day. Uh, Rahua. Yes. Uh, I am going to go up to his creature with my move speed. Let's go. Twenty five feet. And I'm give me a fortitude this. save. Absolutely. Uh, blah, 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 fortitude save. Gonna go to that part of my sheet. It's not there. It's not there. I have no fort here. I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> Some of you have no fort. 30. <laughs> 30. Well, that will that will be a uh, success. You will only take half damage from this. So you will take six points of acid damage as you come into the aura. Excellent. Okay. This is either going to be a really good idea or a really bad idea, but I've got a good feeling about this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to target the creature as I mm-hmm. do right now. Uh, yep. I'm going to rub my little hands together. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna cast Crisis of Faith. I'm not, not Crisis of Faith. Positive what? improvement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. He's not gonna have a come to Jesus moment right now. Ooh. Um, when midlife crisis gets at the game. Convert this guy. Okay. Okay. I um, what does this do? DC 22 will save. What does Ooh. a positive attunement do, do for people who don't know what that is? So pe- for people who don't know, if you don't know, uh, I attune a creature to the positive energy plane, connecting its life force without fully transporting it. He starts to glow, and if it's living, it heals 1d8 hit points immediately at the end of each of my turns. However, if it is undead or has negative healing, uh, it starts taking 1d8 positive damage. Okay, okay. I, uh, I, I succeed, but barely. Um, Fuck. And I believe, yeah, you... Let's see here. Jokes, it was pointless. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Creatures damaged once and spell ends. Yeah. So roll me uh, that D8 positive damage. Okay. Seven. 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 Okay. That damage goes straight through on this thing. It looks like it's uh, very effective compared to, say, Vali's magical rapier. Oh, hit him with healing attacks. They really don't like that. That's up to you, too. Is that the end of your turn, Rahua? Yes. Orin Orin will nod and go, okay. Okay, I know what to do. Thanks, Rahua. Oh. (laughs) There's another. (laughs) Floating through the wall, another (laughs) one comes up. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, also... There we go. And uh, moves into a flanking position with you, Rahu. Excellent. And it goes to stab you with a spear. I don't have no reactions. Um, And it'll hit you. Yeah, it will. Just going to roll this damage here. So you'll take 14 points of negative damage. But wait, there's more. I know, I know. Oh no! Now you too are persistently acid damaged. Fucking cool! And then, with its last action, as it stabs you, it turns towards you, Orin, ah! and throws its spear at you. No! Ah! I made your stars. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No! Ah! Um, it it hits you like dead on, um, and as that impacts into you, Orin, you will take twelve points of negative damage, my friend. <laughs> and also, you are now melting with acid. I'm melting. As you take melting. persistent acid damage. All right, uh, that was that one. Uh, then the original one gets to go now. Uh oh. Excellent. Love that for us. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start on the Rahua train here. Uh, attacks oh, Rahua. No. Oh, okay. Um, hits Rahua. Um, it can't apply multiple persistence, so it's only just gonna do nine points of damage to you now. Um, then it will attack you again. Matt minus five for who? My friend. We'll also hit you again. Wow, I'm liking these rolls today. This is good. 
Base I modifier plus 22. Us. Eat my ass. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> again and uh then he will float over to there interesting wow cool um Oren, at the beginning of your turn can uh can you give me a uh can you fortitude? give me a fortitude save please god damn it the fortnite save i roll oh, an 18 good. 30 total yeah so you'll take half damage from this That you was will... mercifully low. Yes. <laughs> so you take two points of acid damage at the start of your turn, Oren. All right. What would you awesome. like to do? Uh, Oren is going to. Uh, that's kind of the idea. Is that I'm debating which one to do. I can either blast one of them with holy energy or with like heat with heal, and then do a bunch of damage to one. Or uh, it has to do a force you say, which it might survive on. Or just concentrate heal on Rahua. So I'm going to rely on you guys to do damage. So what I'm going to do is... Is this square safe? Top left of Rahua. Uh, yeah, that'll just be the edge of where it's safe. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spend one action to plop up here. And then I am going to uh, Battlefield Medicine Rahua. Hey. Okay. Oh, thank you. Which takes a single action. And due to the nature of this, you adjust the DC how you like, Thurston. So it'll be a nature check for me. I'm using actual medicine with my. Uh, it's only a twenty-four, but uh. Yeah. How's that sound? Yeah, that that would be a success, not a crit, though. Okay, so that is going to just be two uh, D eight healing. Okay. It'll be two D eight. It'll be eleven plus with my healing gloves because it's a bit different. Uh, it will not do anything with that. My bad. I'll do that, and then for my final action, I will use my healing healer's gloves ac uh, action to where yeah. I can heal Rahua for two d six plus seven hit points. Yeah, do it up. That only That's be twelve points. Pretty good. Okay. So nice. I have. I basically moved. I battlefield medicine Rahua, and then I used my healer gloves ability to do two d six plus seven hit points in ha. Brought Rahua up a bit, and I should now be out the circle, but I still have percent of acid. So it'll be the end of my turn. I will take seven points of damage and I'll try to do recovery DC in which I failed by rolling a 12. I needed a 15. So that is the end of Oren's turn. Yeah, so you'll take the seven acid damage as the acid can, the persistent from the strike. So it looks like they have two forms of acid. One when you're in the aura around them and the other when they hit you, they seem to do persistent acid to you. Uh, all right, that is the end of your go. That brings us to Baldrick. You are Thurston. Up. Yes. Real quick, and I'm probably going to kick myself for this. I noticed that it's moved into his space. Do you only take the check if you are at the in start range? of your turn? If you're in it, okay. they can't move in and hit you because otherwise it would like double down on you. So, gotcha. But if you are, okay. if in your turn you were to move in, you would check during your turn and then the start of your next turn. Uh, Thurston, Erndel. I have a Quicksilver Mutagen Moderate. Okay. Uh, to aid Volley, I'm going to use it on her. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, I can just do that if she allows me to. Yeah, it's just one of your actions to apply it to her. Volley, do you allow me to do this? By the way, it will, t it will take off 12 of your hit points because you're level 6, and you won't get those Oof. back until it's over. But you will get a considerable bonus to... Uh, you'll get plus 2 item bonus to acrobatic, stealth, thievery, reflex saves and dexterity-based attack rolls, and you'll get an additional 10 distance on your speed. Uh, the extra speed helps. Honestly, at this point, my rapier does kind of piddly damage. Um, so I was thinking that I would probably be running and gunning this. That's my point. Yeah. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. All right, so I assume I use this by hitting use Quicksilver Mutagen. Uh, yes, yes, I believe that'll pop it up in chat, and then I can apply it. Oh. It did not. One sec, I'll grab it. Uh, effect Quicksilver Mutagen. Bam, I put it on Volley. There you go. Good. Yay. Uh, since Volley is now speed boosted, and will yep. not be affected by the Reaper coming over here technically mm -hmm. on, the, on the first go, I will now spend the rest of my actions... 
hurling bombs at this thing. Yeah, sorry, it, for some reason, um, and Zoran, maybe you can help me after. For some reason, if I like move the tokens, it's not snapping them into squares, and I don't know what that setting is. Oh, weird. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. So this is the conundrum. I can use the alchemical crossbow, and that might do something more, but it also might not, because you did a physical attack, and that didn't do very much. Your your crossbow now that's enchanted would be magical damage. So they yeah, but so was oh. so was Volley's rapier, and that didn't do that much. Yeah. yeah. So the, since you resisted the magic, your best bet are the bonds currently. I don't know. I was I was thinking because the crossbow does do a little bit more now. now it might just be it uh, resistant to piercing, honestly. I mean, I have a, the crossbow does piercing. Ah, yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's it shoots bolts. Yeah. Uh, Either way, I'm going to throw two alchemist fires at this thing. Use a grenade on the target. Go. Oh, you piece of crap. Oh. You have two hero points, though. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I it hovered on that 18. I'm like, you piece of shit. <laughs> We're rolling with a hero point because 16 is not sufficient. Go. Oh, Fuck you! Fuck you, Slyhawk! No. Thurston, make that asshole take four splash damage now! I will. I will do this. Uh, I've okay. taken my four points. Would you like to throw your second bomb? Yes, I will. Okay. I will take it at a map minus five. Yes. Go. You're a real That's piece a of work. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, oh. That's a nine. They're Plus spooky one. ghosts. You're, Why you're is it striking as my alchemical crossbow? I clicked on the alchemist fire. Oh, I, well, whatever, it still misses. This... Wait, no, hang on. Uh, is the critical miss still if it's plus one? Uh, d no, it's like your your difference is not five. You missed by 15, so it was bad. Cool. What a pain in the ass. Can I reroll that one? Uh, I don't know if that's going to be worth it because yeah, uh, the map. Point. Fuck it, I'll just leave it as is. I don't even get to splash that one. What a waste of my time. Oh. I, I'm i sorry. Oh, uh, that's a read. Pick turn, uh, take damage. Yeah, well, look. Pick turn, Squilchfoot's gonna go. Pick turn, Squilchfoot's gonna start by making a fortitude save. Picture and, saves. picture and Squilchfoot saves because Picture and Squilchfoot oh, is damn. an abs absolute unit. Um, <laughs> Why don't we let him do the fighting for? He'll us? take he'll take six points of acid damage, which he doesn't like. Like let's let's not kid ourselves. Turn but, engage in tank mode. Um. Oh gosh. Well, you know what Picturn is gonna do here. He's uh he's gonna see the way that this is is going. He doesn't like it, but. Boy, howdy, he he does not like it. Um, oh, gosh. Um, gosh, what's he going to do? What's Picturn Squelchfoot going to do? Um, Picturn is going to cast a spell. He's going to maintain the composition. He's going to see Oren battle medicine, medicine, medicining Rahua. He's going to see Vali, who has like been proffered a, a, an elixir by Baldric and now seems more hurt than when she started. Um, he is going to turn to you, Vali, and is going to cast a spell while playing the bagpipes. He's very, very skilled. Uh, he is going to cast a level two version of Soothe. So this is going to be um, these twice. So I just actually should have rolled this twice, but whatever. Uh, nice. 10 plus another two. So it's going to be six plus four. You're going to get 10 back. Uh, volley, so 45. Um, and you will also get the uh, the soothe condition as well. So that gives soothe. you a plus two status bonus to saves against mental effects for the duration. So it's like a minute. Uh, and that will be little Picturn who rolled terribly on his healing. Uh, volley, oh. you're up. 
while oh, he's high on the right. meth potion. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to waste my uh, AOE uh, fire blast from my guns quite yet, though that is probably what's going to do the most damage here. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, first... I love how many status effects you have. <laughs> uh, there are so many! <laughs> Get them She's off! covered it. Kavali has all the drugs effects. She's got... She's got rot, <laughs> she's got acid, she's got meth, she's got inspiration. Feeling fine, feeling fresh and dandy. That's what it's like a million dollars. Go ahead, Hulky. Say what since what is rot a fucking drug? Do you wanna be taking that? What have you have you for? ever taken have you ever taken crack? You rot. Sure. Could confirm the rot is a viral manifestation of crack. <laughs> it is. Have you the seen deep the deep lore? I, I'm in contact with Viper right now to write an album on this. Good. <laughs> okay. Um, save me, Odo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sorry. Uh, the luminous daggers. Their range is okay. Thirty feet on these fuckers. So can't move especially far. Uh, what I'm going to do is... You can fire and then move. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fire off a shot at this guy right yep. here. Not good. Um, that is going to miss with a 21. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that will, that will miss with a 21. Uh, woof. Okay, okay. Uh, then in that case, I'm going to... Well, I don't want to be super close in range with both of them. Uh, quick serve mutagen gives me an extra action, correct? Extra no. 10 feet of movement. Extra 10 feet of movement, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so I think you're so... moving about 45 now. Yeah, 45. I would, I would maybe recommend moving back, because I'd get the distinct feeling he's coming over here. Yeah, no, I, I get the feeling. So we probably want to spread out, get out of AoEs. Uh, so I'm going to schmove over uh, right here. Just like hey, uh, we're online, be sure to share the armor. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and then I'm going to I'm take a, a second myself. shot at uh, this guy. Okay. Uh, taking the map penalty, but we'll, we'll hope for the best here. No, God! Oh, I go uh, uh, sixteen. <laughs> this is gonna miss. You have a hero oh, point now if you want to. Oh, I have a hero point. I don't know if it's worth it on the multi attack penalty because these guys have a high AC. So I will save that chat for when I inevitably uh, roll a one next turn. The, the mutagen will last for a little bit, so you're good. Yeah. No, the mutagen will last for the rest of the the turn. Uh, right. yeah, and that's just gonna be. That's just gonna have to be my go. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Uh, Rahua. So I'm gonna start. Give me a fortitude save. Oh yeah, fuck! I gotta keep doing that, don't I? Yeah. All right. Here, here's your, here's your, here's your stinking fortitude save. Here you go. A bada boom, like bada bing. Twenty-three. Uh, you'll pass. So uh, once again, you will just take. Okay, you'll take you know half of half of thirteen. Boop, take six. Excellent. Acid. 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 Uh, I'm gonna start off my turn. I'm gonna actually do battle medicine, return the favor on Orin. Okay. Out. Roll that so I can pull up the treat wounds. Bada bing, bada bada. Honestly, uh, what I recommend is not doing that because I can. All my stuff, I can kind of help myself a little bit more. You concentrate on dealing with that, with all your actions. I'm able to heal myself more on my uh, by myself, and I have like stuff that allows me to double heal, double battle medicine I, myself with the medic dedication. So you concentrate on just dishing and tanking. Uh, but you see, I have a radial heal spell that I was trying to save up and get both of these in one go, and then maybe heal Molly. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Volley just happened to be five feet away from where I need her to be. <laughs> oh, you should have told me. Oops. Uh, uh that will right. eventually come so closer, fast. so you can save it then. 
Right now, I got to actually... these things down. Yeah, it's a... It's, a... it's a bit tough right now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, can I pull out my shield with one of my actions? Um, yeah, absolutely. The shield has been manifest. Hey, one up shield. Man, the first. And with the other one, I need that tan hazard DLC, y'all. I know, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had somebody to absolutely go ham. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do an anarch barrage on this lad right here. Actually, no. Yeah, fuck that. No, I I can do more damage with my funny. On hits. the wounded one or the unwounded one? The un the unwounded ones will okay. be easier yeah. to hit. Yeah. Well, hello, my cat is on my foot. Okay. So I'm going to strike him with the mossy mace. Oh, okay. Strike him. Eh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. I, threw no. It on my I just dropped it on the map. Oh, boy. Uh, I wanna. <laughs> you took your D20, flipped it to the five face, and then just placed it. Uh, for, for reference, Chad, <laughs> you rolled a five for a 17, which, nope. <laughs> it's fine. I'll hero point it. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Here it comes. Oh. There you go. 29. <laughs> no, That'll hit. I also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I, I oh, it's because I have to reapply it. That's why. Okay. Technically, it would be one higher. So, you know. Let's see. Yeah. Just yeah. To reapply this. Yeah. It should be one higher, but you can, you can roll your. Can I? Am I allowed? To? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'll allow it. It's, it's seven damage. Probably have. Good job, Rahua. You really gave it a good wallop. Yeah. Um, Yay. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. Defeat it's, the it, enemy. It does some damage. Rahua. You can tell the moss isn't really um, isn't really that like effective on this thing. There you go. You heard it a little bit. Awesome. Uh -oh. If you uh -oh. zoom in a bit, if you zoom in a bit, you can see how much you heard it. You know. They oh were... boy. And with my last action. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go right. Here. Right there. Okay, that's right. All yes, around the goop. me are uh, <laughs> Yeah, you gonna fucking get. You gonna get his left. Me there, Warren. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you right now, Hokey. This position may not be good for you. Well, let me make a measure. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck in the Venn diagram. Fuck, you're, st oh, you're still five feet away. I'm sorry. Get closer! <laughs> I wish I could! She goes She goes before you for next round, though. That is true. Am I still safe here? You you're about to get it, sandwiched in the Venn diagram. It should be if it goes there. If it goes there, it can't hit me. But if it goes there, it'll just hit me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna end my turn then. Okay, cool. That's good. End your turn, please. Unless he decides to attack you, then you then your hose. If I'm allowed to. Please, encounter tracker, can I end my turn? Maybe. <laughs> can you? Oh, it why does it say it's my turn? Yeah, it says it's Volley's turn still. Weird. There we go. Oh weird. Weird. Uh. Oh, well that's because Volley also we forgot to, to end the turn Oh, oh button. Ow. Can you click that recovery check for me as well? Excellent. Yeah. Both of you, in fact. We'll see. God, a volley fails. Failure. Ah, God, good, good. Damn it. Double, double failure. A volley will take 11 failure. points of acid God damage. damage. Rahua will take uh, five points of acid damage. The persistent acid damage is the real MVP. Um, <laughs> all right. This boy goes. First off, he targets pick turn squilch foot no 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 remember share the armor good, oh, good job critically missed oh oh, oh gm fiat over here gm fiat over here gm npc i'm gonna commit a felony this this is the power of gm whiffing <laughs> no, this bagpipe. He's he doing a jig. He, no, 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 he missed. He missed, Game Master. What about those vendor points you got? Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah, you <laughs> fuck boy. Oh, you're I, I, I just spell make a narrative declaration. <laughs> yeah. I just, 
I just I just can, think can it's unfair. I just think <laughs> that it's unfair to to set up a double standard where I can villain point out of my natural ones and you can't. I think for for consistency, I won't do that. So oh, yeah. um, well, how does the acid wraith complicate then? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, you see, they're not boss monsters, so they don't complicate. So, yeah. <laughs> I see uh, boss monsters. Right, uh, I'm going to let you know right, right now. And then I'm attack you. know right now. Please The let document me know. packet is on its way to the Pentagon. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> good. Here we go. fucking kill you. I'm going to roll up the Point and laugh at him. Ooh, my boy! Nah, 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 I want you to know, by the way, Thurston, after you rolled that crit, after you rolled that crit and miss, our viewer oh, count jumped by almost 100. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, it's, it's exactly uh, what we Quebec needed here. And war pugs ready to change. They're thinking about you. Oh, oh, you. Uh, they you. can smell you, fail. They All can right. smell you? All right, well, I've got this acid wraith that's on fire over here in the corner. It's going to go. It's going to start by throwing its spear, its spectral spear, at you, Baldrick. I, 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 turn in, I turn into the Joker and I say, hit me, hit me, hit me. I want you to hit me. As you're, you're going to hit, first, uh, I, know, I usually try not to do it because I try to keep the audio clean. But thank you, Digby, Warpugs, and Quebec for raiding. I appreciate it. We're, do, we're playing Pathfinder Second Edition. It's, think Dungeons and Dragons, but it's not. But, um... But Thurston here, our game master, has loaded dice because whenever he tries to hit his NPCs, for some <laughs> reason, for some reason, it's a miss. For some reason, he will refuse to hit them. But whenever he hits us, it's look, like, like it's like, like it's eight damage, and I was like, it's twenty six to hit, and now he's gonna put us all in acid. Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, he did piss poor damage. I'm okay with that. It makes no sense. Skill issue. It's gonna float to there. Skill issue. And use his last action to attack you, Hulky. Fucking bet. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Fine. Let's let's do it. Let's Come on. Do... Come on, Jack. Oh. Yay! I'll miss. They'll fail. be dead. Epic fail, in fact. Epic failure. Eb and fail. Eb and, Very eb and fail. Yeah. See it. Sorry. It's um. It's what I got. All right. All right, um, that is the the acid wraiths go. Uh, oh, he takes fire uh, damage though. Um, I think I'll get rid of it, circuit wraith. He will take two points of fire damage. Also, he will not be level on the square. Okay. Uh, um, there you go. There you go. All right, Orin, you're up. All right. They will be within the 30, 30 foot range. Orin yes. will clap his hands together. Yes. And do a three action heal, which is a big AOE. Whoa. It will hopefully hurt them. Whoa. And a light so will heal us from the and hurt them. Like lightning. And then poof, a whole bunch of, like a big aura comes out. I think it, I think it even does the cool thing. Or No, no, Whoa. no magic affect anything. Regardless, it'll go. Ah, there it goes. Whoa. Whoa. It does the whole thing and shines out a blast of light comes forth, pulling over uh, our bag boy, Rahua, and the two acid rays. And it. Uh, our bag boy. Yeah, our bag oh, boy. That's our bag I boy. I forgot Pickturn's <laughs> name for a second. Wow. So <laughs> it Resident do, Ball Bag. Uh, it will do, I think, uh, my stuff just gives plus run, if I remember right. Yeah. Yes. So it'll only just give plus one. Is that a student? That doesn't matter. What level is this at? Uh, this is at third level. My bad. Ooh, nice. So uh, 3d8 plus one. Nice. Yeah. So let me, yeah, I forgot to mention that. My bad. Yeah. At third level yeah. heal, level three heal or three action heal. Then I have to um, make fortitude save. So I'm going to. Yeah. So let me roll the damage. Do this. Oh, Come on, healing. See those ZTB blessings. Uh, <laughs> oh. Two ones in my uh, D8s. I'll uh I'll just heal the boys first because you know that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ernthil. I'm so, so happy that Orin finished the Manhattan Project. How <laughs> 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 to do these yeah, fortitude so saves here? You know. No, he's he's not Doctor Manhattan. He's Doctor Manhattan. Of course. Oh, that's dice. favoritism. 
This is gonna do this all right, I'm out of here. Thank you all for the game. I'm gonna step out now. We're all rotten now. <laughs> <laughs> for the just their shitty saves, and I rolled an 18 and a 20, huh? Oh, oh I, I love that. I lost the door yes. repeatedly. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> That's you a you did a little bit more damage there. Yeah, what the fuck? It's a very heavy uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I love great. video games. I'm having fun. Um, End of my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. Okay. You want to roll that recovery check too? Yeah. Can you please stop being on acid? Nah. Oh, you're still God on acid. Six. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Baldrick, you're up. Give I'm me a fortitude to... save. Yeah. I bet. Wait. No. 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 We determined that this is out of range. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. No. You're. 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 Yeah. 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 Wait. No, that is Yes. Good. The last no, that... time we did that, and it was the corner, it was out of range. No, that's that's defo in range. If you were, like, direct away, like, direct diagonal, you'd be in. Was this that is, what it was last tough. time? Yep. I want to make sure. Chat, keep yep. him honest. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, all right, I'll make a fortitude save. Please. Go for it. Fortitude's How are we doing, voice. chat? We're dying. What are these Not yet. We are rolling like garbage, by the way. <laughs> it's very <laughs> true, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, Have boy. Have some acid at the start of your round, Baldrick. Now you may go. Cool, cool. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to remain exactly where I am. I don't care about persistent acid damage at this point. I want to try and burn one of these guys down as fast as I can. That requires the dice to play ball, but... You know... I'm gonna throw three alchemist fires at him. Let's go, Baldrick. Let's go. We'll see. Now, <laughs> fun fact, uh, my alchemist fires previously were, for some reason, uh, not getting the bonus from the alchemical goggles. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. So this is the thing. I think your moderate bombs get that because they give you an item bonus and the two bonuses don't stack. Oh, they are non-stacking bonuses? It doesn't exactly. specify that, but... It's item, but it's, it's, it's bonuses of the same type don't stack. So oh, if so it's like an a, item bonus. So the, so the goggles were actually a waste of my time. It depends on what you're you're tossing, because not everything gives you the item bonus. There will be a napalm delivery to your mailbox. Good. I'm going to roll my Good. bomb now. Bomb me. Typing in chat. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to blow him up. I'm gonna wow, roll. We're fucking typing in chat. Okay. That Very will <laughs> that will hit. That will hit. Okay. Take damage. That's a pretty good one. That's 16 damage. Plus four, so 20 damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's cool. doing it. Okay. He's doing it. There you Please go. burn. Ooh. I'm throwing Very another nice. at a map minus five. Okay. Go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Zero point it. So here's oh, the thing. Can't. I don't know how much I'm missing by, so I don't know if I'm if this is like close or if it's a waste of my time to do that. The only problem is, is it's a crit miss, so that means your bomber's canny shit doesn't affect, and Rahua will take splash damage. Ooh, that's not ideal. Uh, pain in the ass. Uh, yes, I'll reroll that. I'll use my last hero point. I was gonna, I was planning on using an narrative declaration, but this works just fine. Yeah, okay, come on, I guess. we're gonna die. Go. Uh, you need Ermdo to kill. And there you hit. go. There yeah, you yeah, go. yeah. Talk, talk oh. big and explode. Kill. <laughs> yeah, kill. take another, oh, 20. Nice. another twenty. My man. Very nice. Please keep blowing up. Okay. Uh, let me see. How much damage is the persistent fire? Two. Might be able to Two. take it out. Uh, I don't trust that tiny smidgen because Hulky did seven <laughs> and it took off exactly that much. <laughs> what are you giggling at? <laughs> you. Well, because I presume if I'm in the AoE when it dies, it'll blow up an acid. I mean, so. the party. Oh. <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, I guess the only thing I can see you doing is getting out of the AoE. Well, because I don't want to leave it to just beat on Rahua. I mean, it's the best uh, thing to do right now. <laughs> I'd rather it, you I get out of I it can... and just be a Rua. You standing there doesn't help. 
I think I can tag the both of them with my big uh, beam move. Big beam move, big beam move. Fire your molten beam. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go to there. Oh, I will Range. have to step in the gook, though. That'll do, but let's see. Molly, you just gotta get close enough so you can get hit by the funny. <laughs> by you the funny? not get hit by the very funny. <laughs> At the end of your turn, Baldrick? Yeah, I'll, wanna... I'll do the fucking your yeah. funniness. Let me roll my save. I didn't take that much. I took two. Cool. Hey, give me the recovery, recovery check. Please. Nope. Twelve. So you would Eat take a uh, took two, two points. Boop. There you go. Okay. Well, pick turn squelch. It's got to make a fortitude save. All right, nat twenty. Oh, close enough. Oh man, uh, he's making these rolls now all of a sudden. <laughs> not jaded. Not jaded. Oh, shit's gonna, gonna take Next half damage gone. from this ass in here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Stop leaving your room. <laughs> okay, God. fine. Okay. Very good. Oh, gosh. Well, pick turn Squelchfoot sees the the lay of the battle. Whatever, dumb yeah. boy. Hector and Squelchfoot is going to use his awesome, cool, ultimate storyteller weapon. Yeah, he's going to cast Pike Magic Lord. Missile. Magic Missile? <laughs> At the other oh, right. Man. This motherfucker <laughs> doesn't even have to roll. Correct. <laughs> He'll do two he of them. He max damage in one of his D4s. <laughs> he's what doing two of them. What did Hector do? Oh, and again? <laughs> oh, max my damage? fucking God. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I got to go. <laughs> Damn. Did you declare that as a three action magic missile at the start? No, you didn't. Oh, it's two action. Now he has one action left. Oh. Yeah, he's going to use his last action to keep inspiring you with his bagpipes because he's efficient with his actions. Wow, and he's a good player. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. No, 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 no. Magic missile. No, 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 no. Um, okay, very good. Uh, I had an effective round. Uh, and he doesn't have persistent oh, as backup bonus, dancers. That's good. Uh, Volley, you're up. Isn't it persistent, but he needs to take damage and die now. He, <laughs> he did. He made it save at the beginning of the round. No, make him take more damage now. Oh, <laughs> Uh, All right. Up. Well, I need to get closer to Rehua uh, and Orin, so I shouldn't keep running away. Uh, so I, I want to point out real quick. Sorry for interrupting. Killing him didn't cause like an acid explosion. No. Okay. Fucking. Thanks. Sorry. I should. I should narrate when the bolts hit him. As he dissolves into the air, the the aura dissipating with him, and there's like a kind of a. Well, I don't know. It looks like an archon in Starcraft when they die. Wait. All right. Um. Uh, well, if I go here, I could get pick turn and. The... What the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, pick turn is actually the enemy. <laughs> <She is. laughs> <Right>. Like <laughs> he's kill stealing. Gotta end it. <laughs> like, yeah, that motherfucker's hurt my KD ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna move my, uh, use my nutty movement to get, like, here, and then here. Yeah. Uh, professor. Because of your Quicksilver mutagen. Yeah, I'm moving quick. I'm fast yeah, as fuck, quick. boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, and then I'm going to... My panache didn't help me at all on ranged attacks, so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to line up my gun. Would I need to reload for the beam? Uh, no, the beam doesn't require a... Uh, a round. Uh, okay. A round in it, yeah. Excellent. Uh, in that case, yeah, I'm going to hit this dude with the the big funny martinet beam. Okay. Um, so that requires me to make a reflex save, yeah. Yes. It says DC 21. Frank and ah! I will succeed, but I'll still take half um, half damage. How much damage uh, is that? Uh, 5d6 fire. Yeah, you want to roll that? Pew! Yo. 
Oh two, boy. Two, 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 one. Two, two, one. You gotta be fucking with me. I'll take that four points of damage. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, Pixern did more with one magic vessel, you know. Thurston, Thurston, I'm coming to your home. I am outside of your home now. Open the door, you Thurston. You can't get to his home. It's under snow. <laughs> Thurston is only being this hostile because Speaker is not here to make him more miserable than I can possibly make him. <laughs> wow. I mean... To make him miserable, right. we have to unlock the Tannhauser DLC. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <DLC? laughs> okay, uh, and I'm gonna use my last action to fucking shoot it. I, I have, have a I... question. I have uh -huh. a question that I might regret, like mentioning. Uh huh. Uh oh no, you only have that the the the, the gun. Sorry, never mind. You can't because the gun is a two action to use the, uh, the special. Oh, one. it's a two action. Oh, it yeah. is. Oh, okay. But you yes. can do it again next turn because. It, um, like yeah, you can do it once per pistol. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Sweet. Well, uh, Bali right. is going to lay down in the dirt uh, and just start eating it. Well, uh, I mean, please end your turn, and we'll see if you do eat the dirt. Because you know, oh look, you take. So we want to click on that recovery check. See if you finally make it. I would it. like to click on the recovery check. <laughs> Ooh, this is you're all gonna die to acid. That's what did you great. roll, Bali? That's a two. You need a 15 to succeed that. Rahua, my my friend, my companion. I love being DPS. Yeah. I love being DPS. Yeah. Yeah, but being damn, DPS is I, really cool. I do a lot of it. I love how I was planning a bunch of shit to do this turn the entire time. Like, oh, yeah, I need to be in this specific position in order to make this cast. And I forgot. You know, mind you, I'm keeping in mind. Oh, I have reach spell. I can I can sort of heal Orin or Valley from the distance. Totally skips my mind that if I had casted my three action heal already would have had a radius of 60 feet. So we're just gonna fucking do that now and pretend it didn't happen. Whoa! Yay. <laughs> do it up. There's the goddamn third level here, let's go. All right, so it's gonna be, this is gonna be 3d8. Roll it. Please roll all ones again, it's very funny. Well, <laughs> uh, I like that you type 3d8 in the chat. <laughs> 3d8. I got you, I got you. Just to keep <laughs> you honest, Thurston. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, okay. Um, oh, 11, 11 healing. What's the DC I have to make for this for you? Uh, Why does it matter? You're gonna make uh, it. Uh, <laughs> his thing is 19 spell DC. And it's fortitude, right? Yeah, fortitude. And they have 19 spell DC? No, oh, you didn't. No, oh, I hate you. Okay, well, my point exactly. we'll succeed it. But the rest of you... The rest of you all get healed, and I'll get going on that. Yay. I'll get the rest of you up here. There we go. Cool. As as your your holy light channels and goes over everyone, uh, healing them. Oh. 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 And then like, that... Is... Every time Heal Go goes out, I think it's like that sound effect that when you level in Path of Exile, I'll just... Wah. <laughs> Wah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a All right, Rua, you want to end your turn for me? Yeah, I'll end the turn. Okay, uh, you want to click oh. that recovery DC, see if you get over your acid that's slowly dissolving through. Yes. You do! Yay! Yay! First, first try, first try. Orin takes first four try. points of damage. Um, also, Rua, because I apparently messed that up. Let me heal that back to you, Orin. Okay. Um, all right, so it's it, the, the acid wraith goes and as as you finally overcome the persistent acid damage Rahuma, uh-huh it targets you with a spear and throws a spear yeah that, that's about to be expected <laughs> yeah that checks out but he doesn't no he no, doesn't no no don't do it don't do no. that no no no, no I, know, I know you rolled a two and you missed don't don't do it not a one Oh, don't do it. You wanna oh. you wanna mark me down a villain no! player? <laughs> you wanna you wanna just you gotta keep it keep it fair and balanced. I have the right? control of this whole interface. I can just give you nothing. <laughs> oh, I saw it wobbling on that one. One, I saw it too. I saw it. It didn't, and it, instead it will hit. So uh, just gonna. Whoosh. I like that little spear I, effect. It's so cool. Yeah. Like can I it makes use a reaction for this. What do you got? I have my shield. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so twelve. Uh, uh, it comes in handy. Big question though. Um, yeah, that kind of works if you already had your shield raised. Oh, oh that's true. Yeah, you didn't raise yeah. your shield because you, you three yeah. acted. It doesn't come in handy. Action. It's useless. 
Yeah. It's useless. No. So instead, I will smack you for that, and then I will reapply my 1d8 acid damage. Wow, cool. And okay, then for, with for with shields. my last action, I'm going to attack Picturn and Squelchfoot. Oh, here we go. Just, so here I, comes a nat one, baby. <laughs> oh, he ah! missed? Oh, what a shame. I don't know about that shit. I uh, missed. I'm <laughs> so weird that this little well, boy is... that shit, asshole. <laughs> it's, just so, it's, it's so strange. He's I don't just understand. so nimble. Oh, man, all um, of a sudden, Picturn's alive. <laughs> Orin? <laughs> I'll blast this thing. I'm tired of this thing living. It's within 30 feet. Blast yep. his ass. Blast him. Blast him. I have to do a second level uh, heal. Uh, actually, I have a, I have a question. Okay. Uh, with the staff of healing. Yes. You know, uh, it gives me. Oh, you get first level. I had some question. Yeah, My yeah. bad. Second level heal. Whoa. Basically, on it. Second. Yep. Second level right, on yeah. the acid bridge. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Right. No, you don't want to do that. If you're healing a living creature. So you'll do damage. It just won't be the... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, uh, okay. Basically, I, yeah, I, basically I, how it works is that... It'll I, be 2d8. Or is this third level? or Yeah, second level. Second so 2d8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'll make a fortitude save and see what happens. Yep. Yeah, so it's eight. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 2d8 thing. It's 12. It's got to make a save. It rolled a three. It's a critical failure. Very nice. Critical failure. So it's going to take yeah. double oh, damage. Finally. Yeah. And I rolled Thank 12 you. points of damage. So just like a large, like, like a large, just like, it's not really like holy light. Like I like to describe it mostly. It's like this like green vine kind of looking like, like all of a sudden the, uh, the, the acidic smell just kind of like gets passed on to everyone. And you, and you smell winter fresh air freshener. You know, like evergreen. <laughs> For evergreen. Oh God! You I hate to bring it to you, but the Everglades doesn't smell like mint. No, not Everglade, like evergreen. <laughs> you know, just like, I, like or like pine scent. You know, pine trees. Pine salt. That, you bless them with your pine salt laser. Now, now yeah. it smells, like, smells like, like mint oh. here. Oh my God! But that thing just gets full on face of Mister Clean Energy. Just bam, <laughs> right into clean. its face. <laughs> And it takes the 24 points of damage. That's my, uh, those are my two actions. Mm -hmm. uh, for my final action, I'm going to Battlefield Medicine myself. Yes. And uh, I will do that real quick since I had to do the natural stuff. And uh, Yeah, yeah. You're, you're just going to uh, roll in that one and hurt yourself here anyway. Oh, so this is what you get for not re-rolling nah, your attack okay. on pick turn. Okay, I roll a 26. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a... Um, that will be a... No, that will not be a crit here. No. Yeah, yeah, in circumstance would be different. Yeah, yeah, it, like acid badlands is not an yeah, easy place I, to do this. I yeah. absolutely agree with you. So it'll be 2d8 of healing. Whoop. Use plus... acid to staunch your wounds. I only broke five, but I get that. <laughs> plus one, you can plus one on the bonus check. It's, like, it's always weird. I keep thinking the healing gloves would give me that, but it helps me with the roll, so it wouldn't really. Yeah. Crit. Um, but yeah, I only heal myself for five, and that is the end of Oren's turn after we see what happens with the acid damage. Good thing I healed myself because I was trying to differentiate from. I'm going to do Oof. C check. I did a natural <gasps> 20. So nice. No one can be on acid. Oh, merciful game master. You wouldn't let me take damage if I rolled a natural 20, would you? It's a it's a recovery check. But yeah, I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to like not take damage and appeal to how great of a game master Thurston is, you know, because he's so cool and he does it like fucking like heavy rate, like heavy weight virtual rolls for his own NPCs and <laughs> campaigns. You know, he really Can likes I? his players and, you know, I offered him like a beer once and he never took it up, but I still got that beer. I got like a case of beer in my fridge just for him. Zoran, <laughs> may I please, may I please frame this scene for you? You no. are begging at the foot of Thurston's plinth while the giant skull sits what? on top of it. No, 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 let me, let me go, let me continue. No, he gave me more you, damage. You are begging him. You are begging him at the bottom of the plinth, and all the while he just stares down at you, and you just hear this. <laughs> no, it's copyrighted, don't do that. Copyrighted! <laughs> Man, Thirsty, what'd you say? I'll give you... Your eight points back. There you are. Uh, you, you did two Yay. damage to me. You had to do one more. 
All right, whose turn is next? Oh, fuck you. This man for you, he's so cool. Fuck that guy, Baldrick, you're up. <laughs> Also, in what world is what in what world is bad to the bone copyrighted, but doing your mom isn't? <laughs> it's it's not my it's not the rules I set in the standards. It's there. <laughs> I'm well aware. In any case, I'm gonna let me see. Throwing this is a fucking dex roll, isn't it? No, I don't want to roll it, you clown. It is dexterity. You know what? I'm going to take my own medicine. I'm going to drink a Quicksilver potion. Okay. Give me it. Oh, yeah. Go. Yeah, gotta, gotta yeah pull give it. Up, pull it up. It doesn't, it doesn't give me it. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't give you it? Uh, one second. I got a Quicksilver no, mutagen. I can do it. I can. There you, you go. Boop. All right. There you go. Action to drink. Bam. Hit me with 12 points of damage. Uh, yes. Bam. I'm going to bomb him with explosives like this. Okay, okay, okay. Just remember, if you critically miss, you'll hit big turn. What a shame. You know what you gotta do, man. You gotta take the 14. <laughs> he'll, he'll just nat 20. He'll nat 20, yeah, yeah. to be like, hero point that, fuck like that. <laughs> Use a grenade. That'll hit oh, no. 29. Absolutely, yeah. Bam, roll me damage. Not nice. impressive with a 14 in total. Okay. That's not bad. Um, he is now on fire. Burn. Yes. Okay. I'll take my map minus five and I will go again. Okay. Use a grenade. Oof. Oof. Eat my ass. <laughs> that, that one. Goodbye, pick turn. Yeah. <laughs> you have a yellow point. You can't do no, that. No, 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 remember? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's all sorts of bad. Okay, well, first of all, pick turn will take some splash damage. Oh, no, he takes four splash damage. Yeah, he does. I'm glad Aaron does the You see, I could I could make it up to I could make it up to my my intelligence modifier. So I will. <laughs> <laughs> so you will. Wow. Wow. Okay. So good. So good. Uh, uh, um, I'd like to have a formally handshake you. Thank you for working with us today to really, you know, put it to the game master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use this one from uh, Yuna Callista, um, entitled The Mashed Potato Platoon Was Here. Uh -huh. Oh, no. And um, as you throw this, this this third bomb, you slip and fall prone oh. on a potato. Terrific work. It was just growing in the wilds, was it? It was left here by some, you know, some some how old rattling is this big potato. I would like to roll. I would like to roll crafting to see how long this potato has been rotting here. Yeah, please give me a. Chance. It may have penicillin. Please. What? Roll. All right, that's the end of my stuff, so I'm ending my turn. Yeah. And now please, I'm going please to recover. I don't. Oh boy. Continue. Awesome. That's another cool. natural one. It's, it's fine. It's a recovery one. check. I don't need to announce it. <laughs> uh, you do, because people listening need to understand what you rolled. Yeah. Why does it yeah. matter? It's a recovery check. Either I make it or I know. don't. No, they don't. They Kills don't you. you roll. People love to know the results. If you keep it up, I'm going to keep playing the opening riff. Do you want to know the results? Yes or no? I have a question. You just complicated on a recovery check. Oh, okay, no. now now stop for a freaking second here. <laughs> I gotta go. You're getting go. greedy. Get You're getting here. greedy. I'm gonna I'm gonna start making your life a living hell, Mister Speaker. Speaker makes your life miserable. I can sit here and make you worse. I am I am being charitable. Oh, God, you have you I don't have, no have idea. to help you. You have you have you have no idea. The only reason I mention it is that there is. Absolutely, absolutely a complication here that would be perfect, but I won't. Don't but push I, me. But I won't, but I won't, but I won't. I'm going to turn into Tommy Wiseau. Don't touch me, motherfucker. I, I have a, I, we can leave this up the chat to determine if uh, we should complicate on recovery checks. So I'm going to ask chat real quick. We're gonna make wow, Zorin turning it around. In fact, hey, yeah, Zorin, I got a good question a for you. <laughs> yeah? Are you prepared to fight a bunch of skeletons? Yeah. <laughs> no! No! Skeletons! No! Yeah. They rattle and clattle and shiver down my spine! 
All right, let me see here. Uh, should oh we complicate? Oh I gotta lie down. I gotta get out of here. Checks. Oh, Jesus. All right. Yes. No. no. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna click. Okay, it's gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna it's click gonna this. Cool. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get the. I gotta get the uh, overlay. You know, the it's, overlay. It's, oh gonna, my yeah, god. We're gonna do overlay? it live. Oh yeah, my there's god. There's a whole overlay to this. Hold up. This see see YouTuber it's chat could be chat involved with this live. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you, let me let me blow wow, this up. Wow, you just right, added chat. a browser source. Okay. If, if, you, if you type one or two in chat, it will vote one. So the question is, should we complicate a recovery checks? One type one in chat for yes. Type two in chat for no. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm trying to go uh, by the way, for people on oh, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Here. We, we'll wait for this to conclude. I want you to know. By the way, this audio file is from Baldur's Gate One, so it is perfectly acceptable. It's from a video game. It's not. So you, it, it is weird because we technically still do not have the rights. It's only applicable for like streaming and stuff. Like, if you're in the game itself. Amped. Right. Yeah, that, that's the technicality. Of it. <laughs> don't worry, I've had Easily to triple thing. check this. That's why I don't play Dragon Age battle music during our streams. I had, I had to do it all through tabletop audio, so I have to be careful. I'm gonna go slam my <laughs> dick in a car door. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not gonna go up and sue us or something, but I prefer not wow. to have that in our archives. But currently, it is yes for 53% and no for 46%. There's a lot of people who don't want us to suffer. With complication rolls on on two. So they're they're just, just sad because I've minutes. been so brutal to you this time. You haven't been even been brutal. <laughs> We're just rolling like crap. Also, you can't vote multiple times. Right? As soon as you do one vote, is locked in. You can't like go one and then two and then two, then back to one. It doesn't work that way. You can't multiply your vote. So stop spamming it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just get, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna really want that right one player screen. who's listening right now, who's just like, they've almost killed this fucking thing, and now they're stopping to vote on recovery checks. Just let them kill the Brit. I'm like, no, fuck that. This is important. <laughs> we gotta like, know. We gotta, we gotta know. know. All right, I'll let the, that time active thing. I'll wait till it hits three minutes, and then that's it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Then, I'm just gonna copyright strike silent. the stream. Yes. Nah. No. No. <laughs> Seriously, do stop, please. I have to edit that out now, and it, that pisses me off. <laughs> no, no, you don't. My audio doesn't pick it up. It pick, I what? pick it up. Yes, yeah, yes, picks it up. We all yeah, pick it up. Picks it up. Yeah, if you you're a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's not <laughs> how any of this works. <laughs> uh, you familiar with the band Squirrel Nut Zippers? I'm gonna call. I am actually extremely Nut familiar Stingers. with them. They are they are they are one of my favorite bands, and I'm particularly fond of Hell, both as a mindset and as a place. Wonderful. I'm going to stay right. with you now. Ch Chat has decided. Yes, we do complicated recovery checks. I am just right. getting back at Thurston for being insufferable by Look, being insufferable. I'm gonna use this one from Tarkus called Toad Killer. Uh, uh, sorry, that for, 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 ah, Toad Killer Dog, my bad. The Outset City Shuffle. The power of the anarchy have decided you are stationary too long and have swathed you in space with one of your teammates. Well, luckily I already hurt him, so it's fine. We'll just uh, shimmy Get pick turn over there. Get on with it. As you 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 blink, and somehow now you are prone above this wraith as Picturn seems to jaunt in space and time um, due, due south, uh, where he continues playing his bagpipes. Hey, Thurston, you yeah. want any more, if you ever want any more help with writing stuff and getting work done, you're paying for it now. <laughs> wow! Um, and then he will, uh, you know what Picturn will do? He sees you. He's, uh, he's gonna help. He's gonna, he's gonna shoot some magic missiles. Um, if he kills before. the second one, I'm going to end, I'm going to end it. We have 15 you? minutes until the stream ends, so we could just end it after he magic missiles it to death. Yeah. True. true. Yeah, cliffhanger, true. cliffhanger. <laughs> Jamie in chat, Thurston apologized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <don't> <laughs> Embrace the horror. Thanks, Hulky. First magic missile. Oh, you rolled a five again. On, Second uh, magic missile. Roll next damage again. Oh, there's okay. the five. Oh my I guess God. he got caught last Ain't time. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. 
Ain't nothing. Uh, and then he will, uh, you know, continue to um, to to inspire courage <laughs> on all of you. Okay, uh, and that is Young Picter and Squilchfoot. Um, and that brings us to Vali. As the bagpipes continue and you see a, a blast of, of blue energy fly out from, from the top of Picturin's drones on his bagpipes towards this spectral uh, figure. Vali, you're up. All right. Uh, is there a way to get both myself and the Wraith in my AoE? <laughs> <laughs> Turn wow. around, fire backwards. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, God, I, I wonder if the AoE is even worth it. Uh, it's, uh, is it a guaranteed hit? It is a guaranteed hit. Then just do it. Yeah. The dice are not playing fair with us. You may as well let the dice not play fair well, with the damage. If it crits on its save. Yeah, yeah, if it crits on its save, I mean, he'll still miss, but whatever. Uh, if I fire out in a straight line, is it going to hit just the wraith? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you can, you can line it up, yeah. All right, where all right. Where to I determine just didn't want to spin position. an action to move. Where to determine from your position you didn't get to hit pick turn, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to spend the two actions winding up and just firing at this guy again. He's got to make me a 21. Uh, 21, uh, if I can get a reflex. <gasps> You're... <laughs> going to jail <laughs> i'm going oh. to hell <laughs> well it won't it won't crit succeed which it means it'll only take half damage which is you know not bad not bad it did roll a 30 though oh that well, was good at least damage, it's good too. damage at least it's good damage it's something it's hurt it's hurting you got one action left folly uh, yeah i'm gonna fire 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 uh do i take fire a fire on it you do not because it's not an attack action it's a, it was a Yay. spell I fire. Uh, oh wait, with the with the ranged. Yeah, there we go. Bang. Yep. Blast. Bang. Oh. Ain't no Come way. Come on. You have, have a hero point, Volley. You <laughs> have a hero point. A hero point. Yeah. I'm spending a hero point. Please, hero quest this. I'm gonna, turn, I'm gonna turn into King Ramses. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, the misery. There, <laughs> there, there we go. go. <laughs> that hits. Oh. Uh. All right, it's gonna be uh, some damage, uh, and it's concussive. So it's uh, if it's uh, uh, if it is uh, resistant to piercing, then it's bludgeoning. There you go. It is. Ain't no way. <laughs> It takes, it takes no damage. Way. You damage it. Takes one damage. No way. Because it resisted five, the piercing. Wait, wait, I don't hear wait. An if, it, if it is resistant next... to piercing, then uh, it, it takes it as bludgeoning instead because it's concussive, right? Maybe, it... maybe at some point one of you should think of identifying these things. The, yeah. Thurston, it it, they're killing us. There ain't no way. <laughs> We don't have time to suss out what is the proper damage to do against them. They're fucking butchering us. It's true. It's very true. It's just positive damage. You're just all being too negative. I'm hitting it. Thank you, Ruba. I'm working. Kill you. Thank you, Ruba. You're my hero. I'm going to chop you down and make you in a fucking fire one. <laughs> Holy oh. shit. <laughs> Damn. Uh, would you like to end your turn, Molly? No, I'm keeping us here in limbo forever. I'm going to, I'm going to make the most obnoxious creature possible with oh, obtuse and annoying oh. rules, and I'm going to make you use it. Please, please recovery check me, uh, Volley. See if you... Uh... Yeah. Nah, you're still... Oh, boy. God, you've been on double acid this whole fight. Okay. Uh, do you continue oh. to be on double acid? Rahua, you're up. All right. I'm going to just... Can I... Actually, can I cast this? Yes, I'm going to cast this to heightened. Uh, the scene that I'm basically not contributing this fight, so I'm gonna just make sure he's in range. But we'll just target him real fast, and then we'll mm -hmm. do a divine lance tightened level two. So it could be an extra action. It'll be my entire turn. Ooh, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Um. Okay. Cool. Give me give me that attack roll. It's okay. I'll hero point it. Do you oh. have any hero points? I do. What? Uh, you do not. You do not. You have zero uh. right now. 
it's not accurate because I got one from somebody else and I had one at the start of the session. Yeah, and you used it. Used you both of them. Used remember? it already, and nobody's given it to you back. They given me did one, use but using points? it here. Yeah, I you did. Know. Yeah. I don't believe it. You got one. And if back not, and Zorin to took it, took yeah. your hero point, and you'll have to fight him to get it back later. Well, that's awkward. That's right. Your your divine lance goes goes wild, <laughs> and then you take two points of acid damage. Check if you recover, though, Hulky. How long have we been fighting? Two guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Two days. We didn't I even get recover. a break. We've been fighting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we didn't. That's right. It's fine. That's, right. That's why I'm hungry. <laughs> Four. Oh. Very good. Oh, um, the, the misery. Gets to go now. Uh. Okay. Go on. Well. Um. It's gonna throw a spear at Orin. Oh, you're gonna make it do an inefficient attack? What about me? I'm sitting right here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to actually make sure all of you have persistent acid damage. So when this thing dies, you still have a chance of all dying from persistent acid damage. You are prone and I can pretty much guaranteed hit you. Um, I'm going to assume a 22 misses you, Orin. I Orin? do not like this game master. I do not oh. like the way he hits me. I do not like oh. the way he pierces me with that spear he oh. has. It makes Hell. him really mad that he decides to do this damage, but he rolled double ones and he can kiss my ass! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's good. You still take the, the persistent the damage. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Zoran. I'll slam the door for you. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> then, because, you know, efficiency, right? Like, come on. All right. So it's... Uh, and you rolled a two. Yeah, and to suffer. Can you, uh, can you mark me down that villain point, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. go for it. Go for it. You'll be out of them next session. Cool. Think yeah, that'll it's hit. Whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, you think it's it'll hit? It's the 28. Yeah. You think it'll hit Thurston? By all means, I do. affirm cool. that. Okay, I will. Mm. Nice oh, rolls. It's a one and a five, and it's eleven points of damage. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no, then you re-upped uh, the acid that I'm taking damage from already. Yeah. Does this guy have like multiple Misses. spears? Oh yeah. They, sorry, I should I should be clarifying. As he throws them, they like once they strike you, they reform into him. He's an incorporeal. They're 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 a spell, and that does not hit me. Bite no. me. Okay. Okay. Well, I, you know, I've hit you with acid. You, you have so, engendered uh, hostility in us for the rest of this session. You will have to wait until next time to get positivity from us. Um, and then I will take uh, two points, but then the persistent fire damage will go away. Um, Orin, you're up. Two action heal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on that sure. thing. Sure. <laughs> All right. Needs to make a right. 22 fortitude save. It's going to crit damage this I would and do. take... No damage. Oh, it's gonna oh, crit this and take no damage. I guarantee you. No, I rolled a no. two. It crit failed. <laughs> you have to crit it all right. It's my deck. And as you 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 shoot out your 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 like holy energy, the Everglade, Evergreen, whatever the fuck spearmint flavor you tossed at it, you Mister Clean it. It explodes in a gush of of spectral energy, rising up its head, discorporating momentarily, but you still can't see under the hoods before it disappears. Uh, that was two actions. Um, you still have one action left, Oren. What do you mean? We're taking you acid heard damage. Me. Yeah. We're taking you acid heard. damage. We're still in combat. Would you like to spend your remaining action to reduce the DC to DC 10? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then end your turn, please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And make that recovery check for me. There you go. Good. He wins. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Next up in our order, Baldrick, you're up. You're I have prone. three actions. Can I spend Did each of them to to take take care of this shit. Um, so it's not, it's basically you just reduce it to like a flat uh, with, with all three actions. It's basically like a flat five at that point. So you just have to roll me a d20 and on a like five or higher, you get rid of the acid this turn. Cool, I'm ending my turn. Cool. I take four damage, I'm recovering. Cool. Ideally with more than a five, it's an 18. You're good. I need to whatever. Yeah, it's still an initiative. 
Because, uh, because the acid, acid damage. <laughs> yeah, you Valley. You can still die from this if you keep blowing it. Yeah. But you can drop it to a five. So you, you drop it to all a five of your actions, actions to stop, drop, and roll, Volley. I'm, I'm and then stopping. You're dropping and you're rolling. I'm stopping and, and I'm dropping and I'm end rolling. End your turn. End that turn. You're. <laughs> oh. Now roll that recovery test and get a five or higher. Oh, of there course! You of there course. you go. Good. Good job. You, you rolled the 20. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> That's the sound of my head going through the wall. <laughs> Rua, are you going to stop <laughs> drop and roll? Sound. I am going to stop drop and roll. Beautiful. Please, please, please stop. Hey, Thurston, I actually do have a quick question. Why am I only taking 1d8 instead of 2? Uh, because Volley got crit, and so she oh. took more damage as a result of the crit. Yeah, I haven't actually been taking much from the persistent damage. It's no, Volley was the one who was actually taking the fair amount. Okay, cool. I should be uh, yeah, and then that's it. We can exit out of combat. With that, there is a, a a quiet that overtakes the area. As all you hear now is is the sizzling on the air uh, from the acid, which Orin, you kind of like back away from a bit as you realize you're getting really ah. close to it. And Pick turns bagpipes finally let, let cease playing, returning, you know, calm to the area. Bali is just going to, uh, seeing that she has now been burnt to shit, uh, and is sizzling, it's just going to lay down in the dirt. You want to give me a perception check, Bali? In the dirt? Yeah. Round two. Oh, okay. There was no bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I'll give you a 26 on that. As you, you as know you... it's perp. As you lie on your side, you you see something. You see amongst all of the umbrellas and the towels, most of the towels now have been like even more dissolved than they, they appeared to be. Well, they actually appear to be dissolved now. Um, as you stare, you see a single finger bone lying on one of the beach towels. I get up. And I'm going to putter over to the beach towel, looking uh, absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to reach, or no, I'm not going to reach for the finger. Okay, why not? <laughs> Trust your luck. You know, I feel like I should have learned some kind of lesson from that. Um, Before we do that, like, and engage round seven or whatever the shit we're on, Thurston, can I use my remaining reagents to actually make like a proper like bunch of batches of lesser healing elixir? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Okay, like we're, so we're, that... we're not in. You're not. Don't worry. You're not triggering round two. Look, OK, so I'm going to conjure into existence six healing elixirs. Can we please take them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, so dumb. Um, as 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 yeah, as as you start doing that and like volley, you like war crawl your way towards this <laughs> finger bone. Um You see you see it on on on, on the ground. Um Is there something it, on it? No. I eat it. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, give it a good sniff, give it a good come lick. In, it might in, be one of those fingers in. from Elden Ring. <laughs> it's probably soggy, because it's acidic. Uh, yeah, no, I, I look down at the thing. Is there anything notable about the finger? Anything in particular? It appears to be, like, your, your knowledge of anatomy would, like, indicate it's the missing finger from the skeleton that's in the acid. I, I figure as much. Is there anything special about it? It's not, like... It's partly just, just on, the, on the towel? I'm gonna nudge it with my foot. Okay, um, give me a will save. Ain't no way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it all. Rotten three. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I, I'll give you a twenty-four. You are rocked back as you have a vision of this area. Um, it appears to be this exact acid beachfront property. Um, and as you are you are knocked back, you you see you fall through the umbrellas, not like causing them to fall, but as though they're spectral and not there. And you realize that this is some sort of vision. Uh, and you see several um, capricious saucer or fay who are all sitting on these 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 towels watching 
as someone struggles, a man in robes, a pious person struggles in the acid, screaming as his body and legs have dissolved and he's reaching out with his one arm, little like spray of blood coming out of it. And several of the owls seem to congregate around a finger that's on the towel and one of them looks out uh, at the man watching as he dissolves in the acid going hoot hoot not so fucking big without your magic ring hoot hoot uh and then as you look over to see the others sort of gathering around the 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 finger which at this point has not been dissolved and has a very nice looking ring on it um you 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 hear something that chills you to your bone as you process the implications. Hoot hoot! This ring will make a great gift for our fucking king. Hoot hoot! Oh, and that oh. is where we are going to end today's session. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for suffering with us today. I like to thank Roshi, Hulky Crow, Aaron Dill, and we have also unlocked the Tadhauser DLC. Hooray! <laughs> You'll see him next time. He should be back next time. Thank you so He's much, very Thurston. Busy Thurston, or at On Call GM, for game mastering this wonderful session. I have been your host, Zoran the Bear. If you want to know everything about us or you really like the show, you can support us over at narrativedeclaration.com. We do exclamation point discord you'll find our uh discord and there's a declaration discord where you can find fantastic pieces of artwork all that stuff and we also uh you can get all the assets of our campaign and everything if you're in the pathfinder second edition including tugbert if you want tugbert the familiar along with a along with a bunch of other uh things as well you can head over to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration where you can get free pdfs that can help you get into pathfinder second edition a whole lot along with the lore of our campaign all sorts of stuff so if you want to be interested in that stuff it really helps us out thank you chat for contributing today thank you for attending the live stream it's very very uh amazing that you guys do so it really helps us uh keep up there in the world and with that, I hope you all have an absolutely lovely day today. So long. Farewell. Farewell. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Oh, Thank you for enjoying and our suffering. Farewell. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.